Oh my god, it looks like we haven't even started the Diddly Dang stream yet, and nope, not you. That wasn't the song I was going to play. I wasn't going to play Great Days. I was going to play a different song. You had your turn. You're going to have it another time. Anyway, we almost got a hype train. That's insane. Um, yeah, I'm going to do one more song, then we'll do the intro. Uh, but I just wanted to shout out how awesome you guys are for almost already for almost already getting me a freaking hype train. Jesus, you're so cool. All right, um, I'm going to play the one song, which should be a nice, fun little hint as to what I've been working on recently. I mean, if you know me, you know what I've been working on recently, But because um, it's a project I've been working on for like a year, technically. Uh, but it should give you an idea of which song I've been working on specifically. Anyway. <laughs> Reluctantly crouched at the starting line Engines pumping and thumping in time The green light flashes, the flags go up Churning and burning, they yearn for the top Oh, 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 oh,
chick brings all the boys to the guy. Man, it would really suck to be in a time loop and not even know it. Like, how bad would that? Reluctantly crouched at the starting line. Engines pumping and thumping in time. The green light flashes, the flags go up. Churning and burning, they yearn for the top. All right, we're not gonna go through all of it again. Hello, everybody. Welcome to the stream. Not just any stream. The stream where you play a video game, <laughs> uh, but not just any video game. A video game called In Mice and Men. Hello. <laughs> uh, I wanted to. I wanted to have. A, I wanted to have a funny time with that one. <laughs> time, get it? It's a reference. It's a reference to time. The concept immemorial. <laughs> Hello, everybody, and welcome. <laughs> OMG, no, don't kill Lenny, stop. It's okay. You're a wee bit loud. Oh, I'm sorry about that. Let me adjust that real quick. Um, am I clipping? Or... I just want to make sure of this. I'm gonna, let's see if I can turn it down a bit here. Okay, I turned down a good bit there. How's that? Was that a good fix? Yay, I'm good now! I did it! I fixed myself. All right, thank you for that uh, heads up on that. I did notice it sounded a bit weird. I have, no, I have no clue to when I followed this channel. I just came here from a notification. Well, welcome, Myth Cafe. You probably followed me during, like, a, if I ever take a wild guess, either from an old CP... No, probably not CP Carvalho. You would have seen other notifications. Maybe it was from the Wheel of Fortune stream. Either way, hello. Um... Fun fact about the concept of Tiny the Second approximately shares a birthday with Shakespeare. That's so cool. I've been in and out of the eyesight transitions and now. Yeah, okay, so let's talk about this game. Because I'm ready to play it. I'm excited to play it because it might be from a shout out. That would make sense too. Yeah, I know I've uh, been shouted out on like Mars Channel and a, and a bunch of other channels that I usually raid. Anyhow, but so I'm about to play a game called In Stars in Time. I'm going to tell you my history about this game. I was first informed of this game's uh, existence uh, back before it was even released. Um, back uh, on November 18th, uh, Red sent it to me and was like, hey, this seems right up your alley. And Red is right. So if you guys don't know me... Hi, my name is Ryan Chongo. You might know me from the internet. But if you don't know me, like, on a personal level, which you don't, we're not doing this parasocial shit, um, I'm a slut for time loops. I love time loops. They make me so excited and happy, make me go, yeah, 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 yeah. So, seeing, like, a game where it's like, hey, this time loop is, like, the central premise of it, and they're putting a lot of emphasis on it, tells me, and plus with the 
freaking raving reviews I've heard about it so far. Because not only did I hear about that, but I also had one of my Steam friends like write up a review of it going like, yeah, this game is the sauce. Did you make an entire Vine compilation about time loops one time? I did make a Vine compilation with a joke about time loops in it. It was very, very funny. And I, like, the idea of time loops, like, fascinated me. And, like, even to the point where, like, of where you can take that narratively. Like, I know, um, I've mentioned this before, but in the Shadow dub, um, when Penny was like, yeah, we're gonna make it a time loop, I was like, okay, that's awesome. Let's go. Um, and, like, I know that even in that, I tried to, like, sort of, take that in their direction to like you know make the time loop like mean something like um it could be like an al it could be like an allegory for like a depression almost where it's like every day feels the same because it literally is the same day over and over again um i used it kind of in the vine compilation thing i should probably explain the vine compilation have you ever watched madoka magica i know that there's a time loop in that too i think i think fuck it but uh also for the vine compilation just in case anyone didn't um know about that like what i'm talking about there i basically did this uh back when like vine compilations were like huge on youtube like you know you could like like people were just making like vine compilations that really butter my egg roll or like vine compilations that make me xyz i made one that was called um uh vine compilations that trap me in a time loop and it was just a vine compilation but every so often i spliced in a vine that i had made myself um, where it always started the same, it was, like, sort of a, a back and forth between, like, two hypothetical people, and, like, the whole thing was like, hey, why shouldn't you be getting your essay done? But I'm having fun now! You know, something very hashtag relatable. And the second time around, one of the characters is like, wait a minute, no, we, we've done this before. And then you get a few more vines, and then it goes back to that when he's like, what the fuck is going on? And just as the vine compilation goes on, interspliced between them is this weird story of someone who's stuck in this weird loop. And, anyway, that's... That's enough to me enough me talking about myself and my projects. Just kidding. I'm going to keep on talking about them till the day I die, baby. Um, but I think more importantly, I do want to check out this game because when I posted on Tumblr saying that I was going to play that, the response I got was surprisingly huge. I didn't expect that many people to be super hyped about it cuz I hadn't heard anything about this outside of like, you know, Red was like, "Hey, check this out." But then I like Check, but then I like say, hey, I'm gonna do this. Everyone's like, yo! And I'm like, oh, okay, I like that. Um, Apple, is that the uh, Vine comp you just? Yeah, it's the Vine comp. Okay. Thank I was about to say, who ended up re uploading that? Whoever did that, thank you. I always forget who re uploaded that, but either way, it's a, it's great to that it's still alive because the original one got taken down. Yeah, it's a re upload because it originally got the Cthulhu. Anyhow, I am getting off topic again. So with everyone losing their mind over it, I was like, okay, this game's got some sauce. I was going to play it yesterday, but I know that um, Joy had, like, that really huge uh, event, like, for charity and stuff. And, like, I had forgotten about it until, like, the day of. And I was like, you know what? I don't want to take away from that. I'd rather this be, like, its own thing. And also, I want people to go donate to it. And apparently, they made back, like, what, three times their goal? So, fucking, that's awesome news for Joy. So, hell fucking yeah. All right. So, that said, um, I got off topic again. Grape soda. Also, just for fun, uh, Red and I watched the beatboxing puppy movie last night. It was... It was a thing. One thing that's really cool is watching a movie with, like, that much production value. And I say that much production value in heavy air quotes because there isn't a lot. Is it worth watching? It's worth watching either as a laugh or as, like, something to study. Because when I was watching it, and it might have been because I was, like, taking a thing, TM. But um, I was, like, so enamored by the fact of realizing, huh... This really is how AI writes scripts, huh? Because, like, I saw a lot of, like, similarities with the way the dialogue in it was written with, like, Sonic Destruction. Because, like, there was a lot of moments where, like, you know, someone would say that, and then, like, they would ask a clarifying question with, like, you're meaning to tell me that you want me to go over there while this XYZ is happening. Like, that's, that's something that just AI does a lot. And I don't know what, like, different services it uses, but... We're not talking about AI, we're talking about in Stars in Time. AI, more like, uh, in Stars in Time. That's what AI stands for now. Booyah. 
Is a beatboxing puppy movie written by AI? I can't prove that it isn't. I can't prove that it is like firmly, but if you've read enough like um stuff, also in Stars and Time occasionally explores topics in some places by find of settings such as death, mental illness, and violence. Okay, cool. Um, but uh, just the way it's written really comes across as it like that. Oh shit, I forgot this was published by Armor Games. That's such a weird thing to see. <laughs> Cause I know Armor Games like has been publishing actual games, but like seeing Armor Games attached to like big name games with like a lot of like critical praise is very, very expected, but very funny. Uh hey Ryan, how's it going? Pretty good, I just got started. Uh do we need me to adjust the volume in any way? So once again, I'm just gonna say what I know about this right now. Um I know that it's a game where, like, you save the world, but you're in a time loop. So you have to figure that shit out. Which I think I'm going to do. I know this art style who made this. I swear I've seen their art around. I don't know. Let's see if there's any credits nearby. Also, something that concerns me. A couple things that concern me, actually. One. Just because I'm going to be, like, doing some prediction shit and seeing if I get it right. Um, so in Game Capture on OBS, it includes the top part of the window for some reason. I don't know why. And you might be thinking, that's a weird thing to mention. But also I noticed, any visual controls are not accessible on title. Which tells me that maybe, just maybe, I'm going to be facing some kind of, uh, some kind, I, I may or may not be expecting a certain, uh, uh, Rhythm Doctor-esque type, uh, screen fuckery. Which, if that happens, yeah, we're gonna get one shot. I was gonna say that, but I didn't want to give that one away. Either way. Yeah, I was about to say, I'm kind of, that'd be so awesome. I'm not going to, uh, uh, like, get upset if it isn't, but, well, let, let's give it a shot. Let's, let's stop talking about predictions. Let's actually get into it, shall we? Also, I noticed that I, I kind of instinctively did this, but arrow keys and Z, man, all right, let's go. The window stuff's an RPG maker thing, I think. I mean, it can probably feasibly be done in Unity, too. Alright, so as you can see, this dude's got a light. He's crying a bit, but it's okay. Did he eat it? I don't know. I also ended up changing the keys a bit. Maybe. We'll see how we're doing. He eat it at num num num. He's chilling. Was it yummy? Maybe it was. We can't judge yet. Mirabelle. Friend! Oh, sweet. No voice acting. means I get to do it. Sifrin! Sifrin? What's up? <laughs> good morning! Well, more like good afternoon, I guess. Were you taking a nap? That's just like you. Well, you could sleep peacefully at a time like this. <laughs> I guess that's smart. We better get some rest while we can. We have to be ready for tomorrow. So we can finally face against the king. You're too sleepy to talk. Ah, oh, happens to the best of us. Is this like Undertale? I think this is literally Undertale. I don't think there's any difference between this and Undertale. See? That's... That's Sans. And that's Papyrus talking to him. Or them. I don't know Sans's pronouns in this game. Sleep, sweat, and... Sleep sweet embrace. We do not have a sweat embrace of sleep unless you're just like wearing way too many covers. Sand and paper mache. True. You close your eyes again. You're still half asleep, aren't you? You make a grumbling sound. Me! You can check the prones in their profile menu. That's a really cool feature. Hmm. Okay, then. You can sleep for a little longer, but not too long. Come to the village when you're ready, okay? You yawn so hard your jaw cracks. Ooh, I love when that shit happens. I tried doing it myself. My jaw isn't in a crack moment. You're having such a nice rest, too. Just move the game window over to the right of it. Your face comes covering a text box. Oh, shit, you are correct. Thank you for pointing that out. I wish I was better at noticing that stuff. Let me just... Trying to... Eh, fuck it, this is fine. But there's a little line now. Okay, let's... 
There we go. Perfection. Literally perfect. Now you guys are kind of in the way, though. All right, that's it. You guys are being moved. You guys have been moved. Congratulations. Ah, uh, now I need to resize you. That's it. You guys are getting resized. <laughs> there we go. Perfection. Left side chat. No beef. None pizza with left chat, baby. <laughs> Glad y'all are having a good time. All right. You're having such a nice rest, too. Ugh. You can't spend the rest of the day sleeping. That would be a waste. You force yourself to get up. Wake up, Sifrin. You have a country to save. A whole country? Wow, you can use arrow keys to move around. Oh, oh, he's moving. Fast boy, fast boy, fast boy. Okay, profiles. Sifrin, he, they, it's you. Weak to rock, resistant to paper. Oh, shit. Wait, is he's weak? Okay, he's a scissor boy. Also, he, also, he, they, fucking rise up. Let's go. <laughs> the, the Sniler. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> fucking reminds me of that one post where it's like, trans girls will have just one cis friend who just goes online and goes like, I'm the Sifrin. <laughs> anyway, she, her, um, immune to time freeze. That's pretty helpful. Weak to rock, resistant to scissors and paper. Okay, so, wait. You're also Skizzers, Mirabelle. Oh, wait, it says that you're Scissors and Paper on the top right. How cool. How's maiden from the town of Dormont? Blessed by the change god. Yo, got some change? Some 601. All right, so we're like, okay, this is cool. We got, like, uh, implications of this shit's been going on for a hot minute. All right, let's see. The house maiden, the traveler, is a boot. A fighter from the city of Jalvon. He quit his job as a defender to join in this journey. As an attorney. It's a rock boy! Not very lucky, though. Glad you immediately picked up on the fact that these names are fr very French, lol. To be fair, I did it on accident at first. And then we have Odile. It's Odie. I'm gonna call her Odie. <laughs> That's the problem. A research of something from Kabu. Her craft knowledge is unparalleled. That's a paper girl. Odie. From Garf. <laughs> and Bonnie. Wait, hold up. <laughs> Bonnie is there. <laughs> That's just a kid. Who brought kid here? <laughs> Weak to cheese resistant to veggies. <laughs> Wait, that's... Level low HP, irrelevant attack, doing their best. Defense not great. Attack speed every two turns. Current experience preteen to next level. Nope. I think I love Bonnie. I think Bonnie is just awesome. <laughs> They're lactose intolerant. Finally, some lactose intolerant <laughs> fucking representation. Okay, do we have? Okay, we have our uh, we have our visuals back. Okay, I'm keeping screen effects on for obvious reasons. What else we got? Equip. Sifrin. Oh shit, you have your own knife! Memory. Everyone has their own memory that they can equip. Even Bonnie has memory. Okay, everyone has them. Yo, wait, hold up. Geometric glasses? That's kind of fucking sick, not gonna lie. Is this just a punch kid from Smile for me? Maybe, who knows? Me when I unequip my memory. <laughs> uh, hold up. There's, it says if I use page down, it. Oh wow, I can actually use page down. Huh. It doesn't say what it would turn into anymore, for some reason. Does it say what it would turn into with Bonnie? It does. N Wait, your attack goes down? I guess it's if I equip something. Oh, wait. Oh, this is how you remember them. Hello? It has so heavy, it has to make you stronger. <laughs> Bonnie, young and angry. This is how you remember them. Bonnie is more likely to attack. Okay. 
I know I'm like really going into this before we get started, but that's how I do. Okay. If you want to equip them, it gets weaker. Maybe. Memory of Odi of Odie. Odie, curious and perceptive. This is how you remember her. Plus five to all stats. Object that curses the wearer with blindness whenever it's not worn. That's badass. Damn, Odie got some good glosses. Isabeau, loud and brave. This is how you remember him. Rectangular earrings. Earrings that fortify the wearer's body and soul. If you touch one, it goes ding ding. Oh, hell yeah. Crystal Knuckles. I love Garnet. Mirabelle. Shy and kind. This is how you remember her. Big bow. Cute. Massive. Makes one easy to pick out of a crowd. And shiny rapier. A graceful weapon with stronger house maiden's will. Nice. And then finally, it's me. My knife. Your trusty dagger. Does the job. Looks remarkably like a wizard's hat. Boost attack speed and crit chance. All right. If memory of self is just like water, then like it'll be the second game in a RPG in a row that references the exact same wayside story. So in review, you have theoretically so many to choose from. Okay, no, it isn't, but still. Wait, you have theoretically so many to choose from. Okay. Okay. Anything else I can craft? You can, we can craft? Craft? Knife to meet you. Deals scissors damage to one enemy, might lower enemy's defense for one turn. Scissors damage to all enemies, might lower attack. Three turn, is that charge or bleed? Pick up time, make all friends faster for a few turns. Turn it up. Okay, so this is like some support shit. I mean, then again, I think, like, pretty buffy friends also probably that. Boost all friends attack, heal one from 80%. Ooh, that's pretty damn good, depending on how HP goes in this. And considering how much fucking HP everyone has, that's gonna be pretty good. Paper damage to all enemies, scissors to one enemy. Okay. Smash! Kaboom! Your turn! Come on! That's nice. Give your turn to a friend, boosting their attack and crit That's sick! It analyzes an enemy. Your skill doesn't use a turn. Oh shit, we got the Goombella effect! Scissors three, rock three, paper three. Okay, and then slow four. All right, Odile's, Odile's all attack, Bonnie. <laughs> Why was, I'm so ready for this. Bonnie whacks one enemy with her cooking pan, hurting them a little bit. Aggression boost technique. Boost all friends attack, fortress building technique, boost all defense, boost all attack speed, heal all friends for 20%, and then Bonnie misses. Tries to attack, but misses. Hey, it happens. Okay, so here's the deal. Um, wait, this is assist. Okay, I don't know what crafting does, but... And then for pockets, I have some sour tonics, some super sour tonics, some crafted water. Okay, so I'm gonna... I'm, what? Did I accidentally fall asleep? Wait, if you hold enter, I think you just fall asleep. No, it's just if you stand here, I guess, for a long time. You have to stand there and hit enter. Okay. Anyway, where was I? Oh, yeah, I was going to try something real quick. Um, What was I going to do? Equip, that's right. So I'm going to go to Bonnie. What happens if I... Okay, so I can't unequip a memory. Okay, that's fine. I was about to say, because if the memory of Bonnie makes it that Bonnie only attacks, but Bonnie consistently misses, then if I can, like, rewrite that memory... Although I'm not sure what that means from, like, a story perspective yet, so maybe I should... Maybe I should cool my jets a little bit. Or I should just, you know, destroy everything. Anyway. Bird! The bird chirps. Oh. In Vulgar, the birds go pew pew. Pew pew. Pew pew. I'm going back to sleep. Also, can I investigate this? No? Okay, back to sleep. <laughs> okay, fine. Wait, hold up. No time for a nap. Oh, uh, fine. So impolite game. Just let a mother let a he they sleep. Sifrin! You're up! Gets up, thinks about his friends, talks to a bird, go back to sleep. That's true! That's how I wake up! You 
You sure are. Also, I feel like this is going to be all of his dialogue, so I guess I'll just go normal voice for him. Oh, never mind. Hey, Mira. I can I can use my normal voice. Maybe a bit of a higher version of it. Hey, Mira. Hey, Sifrin. <laughs> so how was your nap? On a scale of 1 to 10. Let's see. Oh, I'm not going to be mean to Mirabelle. I'll give it a solid 9. Not a 10, but it was a 9. Is it not a 10 because... No! No, Mirabelle, it wasn't your fault! You finished? Could have used some work? We'll do better next time. Next time I promise I'll let you sleep in. So we can get the elusive 10 out of 10 score. Aw, oh, Mira, I love you. I can't wait to hurt. <laughs> Wake up, Sifrin. You fucked up big time. <laughs> Mira... Being mean to Mirabelle is illegal and punishable, but that's so true. Oh, wait! I had something I wanted to ask you! Um, I have an idea for tonight. She looks so nervous. This will be the night before we go fight the king, so I felt like we could make it special somehow. So I was thinking, how about a sleepover? Let's all eat good food together, sleep in the same room, maybe tell stories! Yeah, sure. The creator drew this meme, thank god. It'd be nice, wouldn't it? How is it different from what you usually do? Well, okay. Ah, uh, you think it's silly, don't you? I'm sorry. I was trying to find something fun to do tonight, but that's all I could think of. It was, it was a stupid idea, wasn't it? No, it wasn't! Maybe we should forget about it. No, no. <laughs> Your lack of enthusiasm made me rebel upset! Come on, fix it! No, it's fine. Let's do it. Are you sure? All right, then. Um, so if we're doing it, can you let everyone know? I I don't think I could convince everyone. You kind of have to now. Of course, Mira. Okay, let me think. Madame Odie should be in the shop buying items. Bonnie should be near the fields to the east. And Isabeau is at the favorite tree to the west. We're staying in the clock tower at the edge of east of town, right past the broken bridge. So you can just tell everyone to meet up there later. That's a lot of names and places. Will you remember? Um... I always remember things. <laughs> yeah, Mira? You have anything to say about that statement? I always remember things, don't I, Mira? Well, unrelated to your memory. Here's a note with everyone's location, just in case. You forget! Yes, yeah, Martin. <laughs> I got the reminder note. I put it in my pocket along with my souvenirs. I'm checking my souvenirs by going to the pocket. Is that Bonnie right there? Running around? Like nobody's business? Or no, Bonnie was to the east. Yeah, I know. I've, I've looked. Most likely, I was talking about prison space. Okay, see you at the clock tower later then! Also, thanks for the sub, tie dye Deny. Thank you so much, so much. I'll be at the library if you need me. Come talk to me whenever. Oh, never no, gonna check Change God statue too. For good luck! You wave goodbye. Oh, also, also, a lot of people to talk to in drawers to snoop inside of around here. You can interact with people present in space while staying in front of them. If you need to, you can always configure your button settings in the options menu. Nah, I'm good enough with a uh, um, ZX control. Although, I gotta talk to this motherfucker. Pew pew. Pew pew. Daydreaming one. Hmm? <laughs> good. Sorry, someone put the, uh, um... Let me get my desktop up. Or display capture cannot work? Hello? Wait, hold up. There we go. Let me uh, move this up in the thing. Fucking resizing. There it is. Confirmed. All screenshots I have left are spoilers. This one is one of the spoilers, just a heads up. <laughs> Alright, let's turn it off. Alright, so let's continue this. Hmm. <laughs> the woman is daydreaming, singing softly under her breath. Fuck it up. Oh, hi. You're one of the saviors, aren't you? I recognize you. Alright, let me get my ass back to fucking... Okay. You traveled with a few people, right? You traveled with, um... I only saw that for a brief second. Uh, Mirabelle? Mirabelle! I know her! 
God, I say that so much. That's like one of my new vocal tics. Sometimes I just go like, whenever I see someone who I know, I go like, oh, yo, I know that guy. Like, I remember when I was at Sonic Expo and I met up with Victor again. That was like the first thing I said to him. I'm like, yo, I know that guy. <laughs> anyway. What a wonderful young woman. I never talked to her much, though. Hmm, I wonder, though. Is she the youngest or older sister of your group? She'd fit both, wouldn't she? You laugh awkwardly. Fuck you mean by that? Oh, I can't get any info on anyone else? Okay, fine. I'll rob you. Ooh, uh, that was an interesting way of movement. Ooh, stylish one. Big hat and possibly warm-looking cloak. You was one of the people traveling with Mirabelle. She's pretty well known around here. The chosen one, you know. Plus, the, by the change god with the power to save Valgard. Plus, before all this, she was a housemaiden at the house of change nearby. She'd take classes, help out with chores, help the other housemaidens with their studies and craft. A little perfect to me, Rebel. Hmm. As for me, I think she's the most wonderful being on Earth! No wonder the change God blessed her when she's this wonderful. I used to go to the house a lot for my classes, and she was always there taking the class with me. I never had a class I didn't share with her. She's so cool. So helpful. So driven. Honestly, we're kind of best friends. Okay, I was, I was trying to figure out if she was, like, shit-talking her. Even though I never had a single conversation with her. Talking to people is hard. You get it. You hope she'll get to talk to Mirabelle before tomorrow. A desk. Half written letter on it, along with a pile of blank paper. Oh, this is my draft for Mirabelle's letter. Don't look, please. You look away. I'm not doing that. A desk. There's a half written letter on it. Along with... Okay. Fine. I guess I won't. What's up here? Yo, we just got a dono. Thank you from Dorian for the $10. Time zones are weird. Have some money. Thank you so much, Dorian. You're so kind and so epic and so cool. Thank you very much. It's very greatly appreciated, Dorian. It's a closet it's filled with many beautiful draces. This door must lead to the rest of the house, but you can't go there. You've been told going farther than the first room to other people's houses is very rude. <laughs> so true! <laughs> v Vogardian customs are so weird. <laughs> that's nice. A little figure of the change god. Oh, that's the change god? He crafted to dance slightly. This one looks very stylish. Hell yeah. Any books? Books are about a variety of subjects, from woodworking to psychology. Some are written in Mudu. You wanted the stylish ladies from there. Oh, okay. Cool, cool, cool. Actually, what's this thing? You're not sure what this is, but it has something to do with the change belief. Yeah, a lot of talk about change, God. <laughs> Sifrin being told not to do home invasion and going French people are weird as fuck. It's true. Mirabelle has a similar brooch design. Isn't it spelled brooch? Eh, tomato, tomato. Nice lantern. Where'd you get it? The la oh, a torch. I'm sorry. Burns brightly. Cast a loving one. You know, the end of the world is fine and all, but I only have one regret. Is it that you didn't get to see the castle? I I will be able to know what happens to Lord Josefandre in the final issue of The Cursing of Chateau Castle. It's spelled brooch, pronounced brooch, I think. Okay, cool, 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 cool. Did he manage to protect his castle to the very end? Did he finally find his friend, Pierre Jacques Ernest? Did he finally find more about himself? Oh, I'll never know. Is that really what they're worrying about today? A uh, book series? Not their imminent death or anything? Weird. Listen, you don't understand content. What I got the books you got? The bookcase filled a series of novels called The Cursing of Chateau Castle. You've seen Mirror Build Weird 1 issue, so I assume the series is about romance and also about terrible things happening to good people. Is that... That says a lot about Mirabel, I think. Do you all say that? Okay, yeah, you also say that. Should never finish the series because the end of the world's such a mood. Exactly! That's how I'm feeling about fucking... <laughs> that's how... That's how bitches got... That's how fucking World War III's got me feeling about Jujutsu Kaisen. I say, having never watched Jujutsu Kaisen. Is that the... Are these the only types of books you have? Okay, so you're just a freak. Got it. Love you. And your Widow's Peak. Honestly, dope Widow's Peak. Bye. Um, excuse me. Running one. <sighs> Look at you. So scrawny. I'm right here. Scrawny one. Did you know you can press shift to run? You should give it a try sometimes. Oh, and did you know you can turn on always run in the options menu? You can run all the time? Did you know? Did you know about this? Did you know that pressing shift makes you run? <laughs> I hope it keeps on going like that. <laughs> did you know you can run all the time and go in the options menu? <laughs> Do you run? 
<laughs> Did you know you can wear wigs? Do you wear wigs? Will you wear wigs? <laughs> Do you even run, bro? I hope he says it like five more times. Do you like running? I'm more of a lazy take it easy type. Disgusting! I, I mean, understandable. <laughs> when will you run? <laughs> you look like you never ran a day in your life. So you can build up those muscles, get fast, get swole, and press shift to run! You may look scrawny, but you're definitely the fastest one in a group. Hmm. I think I have, yeah, I have it so I'm always set to run, so. I love this guy. What's your fucking story, dude? Statues, big and small, all with different faces. Some of them have sad eyes, others a bright smile. Fewer anybody by craft. One jumps around and bumps gently at your feet. The change god, deity worshipped by all in the country of Vogod, stands before you. You have trouble believing you're finally here, almost at the end of your journey. Fun thing, Sif is canonically wearing heels, too. So true! He deserves it! It's only a few months ago that you met Mirabelle. So much has happened since then. Oh, that's... that's just me. It was almost a year ago now that the king appeared, seemingly out of nowhere. He looked like, um, a ghost from Charlie de Brown. Excuse me. Pro possessing immense craft power, he spread his curse across the country of Vogard. You'd be freezing in time, everything in its path. Oh, that makes sense because Mirabelle's immune to time stopping. With Dormon's house of change in his control, he patiently waits. For he knows his curse can only be reversed if he is defeated. His victory will be all but determined if not for Mirabelle. <laughs> Me too, buddy. Your friend Mirabelle is the only survivor of the House of Dormon, after the king froze everyone inside in time and locked the gates. I was right, yeah! Hiccups, now is not the time. There we go. Everyone says she was blessed by the chance god, change god themselves with the power to fight back the king's curse, making her the only one able to save the guard. Also, the music is very good. Squad! When you met her, she was already traveling with Izabu and Odie. I'm call- I know it's Odile, or- Is it Odile or Odile? Doesn't matter, it's Odie. Bark, bark, bitch. Try and get the orbs necessary to open the house's gates and defeat the king. You helped them defeat a particularly strong sadness, and seeing your strength, they asked you for help. You had nothing better to do, so you decided to accompany them. Oh, so we're a late game companion. Odile? Odile? Odile. Okay, Odie. Her name is Odie. She is just like Odie from Odie. Also, while I'm talking about Odie <laughs> being Odie and Sif and I guess being Garfield in this case, if you want to draw fan art, you can post it on the internet and put, tag me and I'll reblog it and post it. Anyway, I already pressed AF, want to join the revolution? That's just a natural way to get people into it, you know? A few weeks later, you met Bonnie completing your little team. Was it really completing my little team, though? You saw a lot of Vogardian cities during your travel, some frozen, some not, and did your best to sidestep the slowly encroaching curse. But still, you all kept going. Mirabelle kept going to honor the change god's blessing, save her beloved house, and save Vogard. Isabeau came with her after Vogard's defenders themselves refused to help. Odie came to satisfy her curiosity about Vogard, and because she said leaving the fate of a country with a bunch of young ones would give me an ulcer. So true. Bonnie came to save their sister, frozen by the curse. You're here because there's nothing else for you to do. What else are you supposed to do except travel with them? So remember how I said that like I was trying to work like themes of depression into like the shadow dub because like a time loop is a very good way of like portraying that? Yeah, I think I might be onto something here in terms of where the story is going to go. But once Mirabelle asked you if you were okay, following them on a journey to save the country, she felt guilty like she was forcing everyone to follow her on a hopeless quest. You wanted to put her at ease, so you said easily and truthfully that traveling with everyone has been the happiest you could remember being. She looked upset. 
you cringe just thinking about it, truth be told. I've also been watching the time loop with heavy themes of depression. Hey! We be shaking our hands. Maybe I'll have to implement that into NCCT in some way. Because it's, like, honestly, I think that's a really interesting, like, way to write time loops. But anyway. I did not read that. Oops. But tomorrow, one way or another, your journey will end. Well, that was cool. You should believe something very strongly at the change. Believe something very strongly. That's how those work, right? Your belt and Isabel have taught you before. Can't just ask for things because the change belief considers this lazy. It's a change god. Only pure belief and confidence in yourself will do. Change god only providing a little nudge. If anyone's lazy here, it must be the change god, you think. <laughs> oh well, you believe strongly or whatever. Gotta go fast. Always attack first. Don't leave the enemy a chance to touch you. You repeat under your breath. Super fast, super fast, super fast, super fast, super fast. Like a jellyfish. Just in time for breakfast. You actually feel a little faster? You jump in place trying to notice if anything changed. You jump right on a pointy rock. You don't tear up. Not that much agile then, huh? You and your friends attack speed got a tiny bit better. Going to the Change God statue will boost one stat of your choice. You can also save your progress by praying to the Change God statue. You close your eyes. Dun, 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 dun. We're going to save number... Fucking... Three. All right. Wow. Okay, that's enough for today. You think the change god for its blessing and quickly run away, crossing it out from the reminder note. You look upset about something. Oh, smug. That's what it is. Oh, hey, traveler. You're not from Vogard, are you? That's the rumor, at least. I'm from Pateria myself. I came to Vogard to further my studies a few months ago. Pateria, huh? How are you liking Va Vogard? It's nice, right? Lots of scholars, good food, welcoming people. Especially their house of change. Houses of change. They let everyone in, and they aren't shy about sharing their knowledge, even if you don't follow their belief. It's strange, right? I've traveled a lot, but I've never been to a country with such welcoming people. I was about depression more about other things. Yeah, probably. I, I figure I'm just like thinking out loud as I experience these story things, story points, story uh, dibbits, or what have you. Either way, um, I'm not gonna spoil. I'm not gonna ask for spoilers, obviously. But yeah. Anyway. I could move here, to be honest. But I won't. Well, it's a little awkward right now with the king. I'm actually forced to move here. Permanently. I should pick a good spot to be frozen in. Ah, it's not that I... Not that I think you'll win tomorrow, of course. I have faith you'll win, of course. Fogart is very welcoming. People always notice you're not from here, but they're more likely to ask if you'd like to stay at their home for a bit than anything else. It's fun to analyze media on the fly. Yeah, it's fun to do that. Hey, Mirabel. Mirabel is here, sitting on a bench, looking at papers. Hi, Sifrin. Do you need anything? Questions. How are you feeling? How I'm feeling? Oh, uh, being in Dormong, you mean? It's nostalgic. This is where I lived before, after all. I mean, when I wasn't studying or working at the house. Dormong itself hasn't changed much. But the house... We can see it from the village, you know. How distorted it's become. I was the only one who managed to escape the house when the king attacked. So many people must be hurt. Or maybe they're all... Mira. We'll save them all tomorrow. Yes, you're right. I should stay positive. Sorry. Uh, what other questions we got? Where's it? I'm... Uh, I already know where everyone is. What do you do after? After? I really like this pick. It's, it's got that perfect, like, face of, like, uncertainty to it. But still, like... Also, is Sifrin related to Snufkin by chance? Yeah, no, I've noticed that for certain. He's very Snufkin code core. W won't it jinx us to talk about this? Well, I'll need to make sure everyone in the house is okay. Beating the king should make their time flow again and they won't be frozen anymore. And I need to talk to the head housemaid and apologize for taking so long. <laughs> when will you run, Mira? <laughs> 
Um, she was one. She was one supposed to beat the king. She would have done a better job than I did when the king didn't freeze her in time. But after I apologize, I was thinking of traveling again. You know, you know, as a housemaid of the house of change, I'm supposed to keep striving for change, even more than Nora Believer. And part of it means I have to go on a pilgrimage, which I haven't done yet. Um, didn't this whole journey count as a pilgrimage? <laughs> no. <laughs> To know scenes that exist as those themes turn up is both a wonderful way to interpret and critique, but also just a nice way to engage in media in the first place. Yeah, I like engaging with the media. I I kiss the media. I ask I ask for permission first, of course, because consent's important, kids. No? I mean, I don't think so. Pilgrim's all about learning new things and seeing new places. And changing yourself and other people you meet. Sure he could have been that, but I haven't changed at all. I'm still, same old Mirabelle. Dipped the media deep and kissed it so sweetly under the moonlight. Fuck yeah, dude. She likes to change a lot since you met her, but who are you to judge? What about you, Sifrin? What will you do? What will you do? Go on a pilgrimage too, maybe. <laughs> I, this is cute. That's cute. Oh, that's great. But I thought, oh, change. You're thinking of converting to the house of change? The house will be delighted. I have some pamphlets. I'm fine staying the same person forever. You're fine with it? Oh. Okay. Question. I know everyone is. I'm not gonna ask that again. Okay, I'll see you later! What's this? The sign says, Library. Alright, I think the child is over here. Look at these fucking kids. The kid still dances as she looks at you curiously. You look so weird. Are you from up in the sky? Are you? <laughs> How'd you know? Yes, I knew it! If you're in the sky, then I'm gonna give this back to you. Fuck yeah! Free leaf, baby! Thank you for this gift. Mm-hmm. Kid nods stoically. Hey, hey, big hatted one. My mother talked about you. Said you're a traveler with a big hat. But it doesn't mean you're a wizard. Appreciate the spice making voiceover easier to tone. Yeah! Because wizards aren't real. Are you a wizard? You wish. Nope, just a traveler. Boring! Kid turns away and ignores you. So mean. Frog? Little girl making a frog and birdie seems too shy to make eye contact with you. I thought she was going to ask me if I was a frog. Hi! Hi. She seems shy. I'll leave her alone. You don't want her to force her to talk if you don't want to. You smile, wave goodbye. Bye. Sign says, My friend made a sign for my house, so now I have to keep it. <laughs> True! Wait, is that her? No, that's an older person. Are you playing some music? Oh, you're drawing, okay. This kid seems to be drawing pictures of someone. Hey, I know her! It's Mirabelle. <laughs> it's Mirabelle! Kid beams at you. They shuffle their drawings and show you another one. Is it me? Ah, it's me! It's you! It me! Kid smiles and kicks their feet happily. You really like their art. Maybe... Can you draw me something I can take with me? Kid looks at you for a moment and then gets to work. Come on. At least ask for how much the commissions are. Gah! It's you and your friends. <laughs> it's me and my friends. Kid makes a happy noise and gives you a drawing. You got the friendship doodle. Fuck yeah, I love friendship doodle. Thank you, talented one. The kid laughs happily and gets back to drawing. What's your story, flower growing one? Hello, ah, aren't you the saviors traveling with Mirabelle? You're doing so much for us. I wish I could help you in some way. I know! I grow flowers! Beautiful flowers that can make someone like you happy! Here, have one! You can keep it, or give it to someone special! Got a bright flower! You put the flower in your pocket along with your souvenirs. You can give the flower to one of your party members by talking to them. Cool. I haven't found any of my party members except for Mirabelle, but okay. Oh, someone there? Yeah, hello. Aha! Hello there! Oh, I don't recognize your voice! Are you perhaps one of the saviors? I knew it! I knew it! It's very nice to meet you. I've met another one of you earlier. They smelled like snacks. 
A little kid by the name of Bonnie, was it? If you're looking for them, I heard them go past the bridge just south of here a little while ago. They went to look at my veggie field, talked to me about my veggie field, then went back to look at my veggie field. So my vegetables looked really shiny and delicious. So I would die for them now. Ah, perhaps I shouldn't make jokes, considering Zoe may actually die soon because of the King's Curse. No, it's fine. But the door seems to be locked. Interesting. You didn't think that a welcoming village in, like Dormont knew how to lock doors. The lock key being closed is an interesting shape. It doesn't have a hole for a key. Interesting. Pew pew. I'm looking for a bird that doesn't go pew pew. I feel like there's gonna be a bird that does not go pew pew, and I'm gonna be like fucking blown the fuck out by it. Pew pew. Oh hey Bonnie. A barrel. So full of carrots. Okay, I can't really go anywhere here. Wait, plank in the water! Plank in the water! Plank in the water! Plank in the water! Another plank in the water! Fuck! Alright. What's up, Bonnie? Bonnie is here, looking morosely at the fields. Bonnie! <laughs> Fucking, I love Bonnie. Look at this motherfucker. Hey, friend. Oh, boy. What do you want? Questions. Worrying about tomorrow? No. Dude, that face was just the fucking cat face with all the knives up to it. Not even a little bit. That's a lie. Your sister will be okay, you know. Don't talk about my sister! And anyway, I don't need to worry about her. It's not like she's gonna move from her spot. Bonnie's sister is in Bambouche, a coastal village hundreds of kilometers from here. A few months ago, the king froze their whole village in time. Unless he managed to beat the king tomorrow, Bonnie's sister will never move again. Clock tower, sleepover! A sleepover? That's pretty dumb. Was it your idea? Hey. Mira's actually. Oh! Then it's a great idea! Why didn't you come up with it? Stars, you do not know how to deal with Bonnie anymore. <laughs> well, you do after. If we beat the king? I'll go and see my sister in Bambouche, duh. And then? And then I'll hug her! And then... And I'll tell her I'm... I really, really tried. Tried what? And then... And then you won't be here anyway, so you don't... Don't be here to ask me stupid questions, you crab! What about you, anyway? What do you do? I'll go to space. Space sounds lame. I bet you can't even go there, anyway. I totally can. Wait, really? <laughs> I love this! Bonnie's awesome! How? <laughs> it's a secret. That's why I don't like you, Sifrin. Oh, You love me, Bonnie. I'm not giving you the flower, though. Hmm. See the clock tower. Alright, so remember correctly, um... The was away the clock tower, but you should go talk to everyone first and change God's statue first. I already did talk to change God's statue! Okay, I guess I need to talk to everyone to get the bridge together. Okay, so... Is this the shop? Big Boulanger. Or Boulanger. Never thought about the fact that they wink with one eye. They, they work hard! I'd like to, but can't buy much only a silver coin. You show your silver coin anyway. One of those you can get. A third of a pastry. But aren't you one of the saviors traveling with a little Mirabelle? Don't worry about a thing then. Can I get you anything on the house? A croissant, a croissant maybe? Incredible, incredible. I've never seen anyone with such a look, such a look of disdain when offered a croissant. What the fuck? Wait, what's Sifrin's problem with croissant? A pain au chocolat then? Only monsters don't like pain au chocolat. You like those? You nod. Ha! <laughs> one pain au chocolat coming up. I probably pronounced that wrong. Yay! You think about putting it in your pocket for later, but it smells so wonderful. Still warm. It smells like butter and chocolate. Try to control yourself take only a small dainty bite. Fuck, this is making me hungry. Bread with chocolate, let's go. It's too yummy. In two bites, you've already swallowed the pastry whole. Not gonna lie. Seeing a tiny one like you eat this like a rabid beast. So, I thought he called him a twink for a second. 
A pronounced pawn? Okay. That was disturbing, but also weirdly satisfying. Fucking so true. Good luck tomorrow. What do you think? Uh, um, welcome! I'm, I'm helping Papa today! Hell yeah. Alright, what's your deal with croissants? Some croissants, you refuse to even look at them. My man hates croissants! Some baguettes. Smells heavenly. Did a croissant kill his fucking grandma? Alright, so that's the bakery. Um, Sign says shop. Okay, that's where she am, but... What's up here? Yeah, it doesn't look normal, I guess. Hello, young lad. Sit down next to me. You can sit on benches and stools by walking into them. Yes, I know. Just walk into them. Very intuitive. So true, bestie. Yeah, that castle does look a little bit effed up. Anyway. Pew pew. How does anyone hate croissants? I don't know, man. Everyone's laughing and I'm worried. Anyway, I'm not sure what it's referring to specifically. Tutorial kid. Tutorial kid! Hey, you! The strange adult with the hat! My name is Tutorial Kid. Tutorial Kid has named Agatha sewn into her clothes. <laughs> Village Rage Margaret calls Sifrin the most fuckable twink. God. <laughs> I know says you're very strong. You're going to help save us all. Thanks, Tutorial Kid. But I need to challenge you to know your strength. So, let's like rock, paper, scissors. I accept your challenge. Yeah! Dude, I love JoJo's Bizarre Adventure. different time. I will say tutorial kids kind of give, not to talk about my own shit, but wait, hold up. Okay. Yeah, I was about to say she has Junie vibes, but anyway. Wait, I have all of them? Um, okay, you're going to go rock, aren't you? I can tell from your hand. Ugh, a tie. Oh, we both did the same thing. That's a draw. Mm, it's like I shouldn't underestimate you. Let's try it again. Rock, paper. I'm going to guess that you're going to go scissors this time. So rock. Do you always tie? Oh, you both threw rock. Do the same thing, that's a draw. <laughs> You're a truly powerful opponent. Okay, last round! Rock, paper! Rock again. Ah! I win! You threw rock? No. I threw scissors! She's going to the Shadow Realm, boys! Why this? According to the laws of the- LAWS OF THE VILLAGE! You have won the Rock, Paper, Scissors game. Okay. I was worried that, like, you were going to, like, banish yourself. This is an intense battle. Thank you for fighting me. A sweet tonic. Sweet. Now you know the basic Rock, Paper, Scissors are invincible. Our training has come to an end. Farewell. Farewell, Agatha. Ah, uh, you heard the villagers talk about this. A very dangerous fruit which, if approached, will spell your doom. This is just a banana peel. Do bananas even grow here? <laughs> but they're not die today, so you leave the banana peel alone. No, I must! Give me that banana peel! I want to die! Right, let me rephrase that one. Anyway. I remember seeing that in the Switch version. Uh, seeing what? The banana peel? Well, yeah, this is a PC exclusive, baby. Alright, let's talk to the uh, funny lady. Stool! A closet filled with everything from empty salt shakers to half-broken pencils. Are they for sale? <laughs> Ahoy, traveling one! Oh, you're with Mirabelle and the lady with the glasses. I recognize you. Can you believe Mirabelle's been blessed by the change god to save us all? Change god almost never gives blessings of any kind. It's truly amazing Mirabelle's been chosen. Maybe the change god may the change god protect her through a journey. You nod, change god, huh? All right, I've been thinking about what voice I'm giving her. Hmm.
Odie is here, looking at what mm, the shop has to offer. Odie! Oh. Sifrin. Yeah, I'm giving her that voice. You look rested. Glad to see... Glad to see... Glad to see you this laid back on the day before the end of the world. Anyway, how can I help you? Nice voice. Awesome. Glad you all agree. Questions. Clock tower, sleepover. A sleepover. Ugh. You guys really are kids. We can forget about our problems. I suppose so. It's pronounced Odile, I think. Yes, but I'm pronouncing it Odie because I'm a funny guy. Nonetheless, I'll be he I'll be there. Poor Bonifaci probably needs it. I'm guessing that's how that's pronounced. Maybe we all do. Wait, is Bonifaci bon what Bonnie's short for? But the room only has three beds, right? Do you want to share a bed? I better get a whole bed to myself. Mira and Bonnie will probably be sharing. Mirabelle and Bonnie? So who'll sleep on the ground? You or Isabeau? I think me and Isabeau will share. I don't mind sharing with Isabeau. That's... A uh, bony foss. Okay. Bony foss. Got it. That makes sense. Bony foss. Bony foss. I'm so glad that people in chat are teaching me how to be French. Slowly but surely. Fascinating. Anyway, I'll be there. You know, since we already decided we'll meet at the clock tower and all. Yeah, you already planned to meet up at the clock tower, so is there any need to let everyone know? We could just meet everyone at the clock tower. Oh well, not like I have anything better to do. Anything else? This is actually really smart, because like when you know there's a time loop going on that's gonna happen, the whole like there's no like there we've been seeing multiple times like there's nothing else I'm doing right now. There's nothing else I really need to do right now. Meanwhile in future ones we're gonna be like, oh shit, we have to get to here before this happens. Are y'all slowly but steadily transforming Ryan into a Frenchman? Are you fucking force Frenching me? <laughs> anyway, we're fighting the king tomorrow. We are. We are. Okay. We are. I hope you're prepared. The king and the sadness his destruction creates. They possess crafts capable of slowing us down or even freezing us in time completely. So, as always, we're counting on you and your speed to help us out of trouble. Oh, sweet. I'm the speedy one. Aw. See you on me in the front again. Leading everyone, if possible. You're already proven good at preventing traps and keeping us alive, so I don't see why that has to change. And, as always, you can count on me to provide everyone with intel on any enemies we encounter. I love her. Yeah, I love her. I wasn't paying attention for a second. Is that a Dr. Order voice? Yeah, kind of. But listen, <laughs> I think it fits her, okay? And I love her, so... And I'm going to call her Odie, because I love her. Everyone except Boniface will be on battle duty. But I might ask Boniface to do something as well. It might be good for everyone to give the kids something to do. Science lady must have doctor order voices as law. Yeah! I'm guilty of that. Boring tactics talk, I know. I'll shut up and buy items for our journey on into the house. Huh. Have you found it? Is this is your field of research... Tactics? Oh, she's been looking around for a field of research? Oh, gems. Are you still trying to figure out what I'm researching? No, my field of research isn't tactics. Because we actually proposed that one last week. Wait one. Aw. Aw. Give it up already. None of you will ever figure out what I'm studying. It will stay a secret forever. <laughs> so there's these things called spirits. <laughs> no, okay. I need to get like a a swear jar, except instead of it's a swear jar, it's reference my own shit jar. <laughs> so what will you do after? After tomorrow, if we survive? I wish I had your confidence. Maybe I'll just go home to Kabue. I haven't seen my country in many years. Before I met Mirabelle and Isabeau, my main goal was to blow up and act like I don't know nobody. Hang, hang, hang. Um was to travel to Vogard and see its many different places, sites, and cultures. I've already accomplished this by traveling with Mirabelle, so... Was it all for your research? Uh, 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 I nod you. Yes. Your research into... Culturesology! Culturesology isn't a field of research, Sifrin. 
but it is the field of research you spent your life trying to create. Stop inventing a backstory for me. What about you? What will you do? If we beat the king, if we beat the king, that is. You go back to your own country, maybe? What will you do? Come up with my own field of research. Ugh. Question. I'm giving her the flower. I'm 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 ripping the cord. For, for me? Where did that come from? Well, nonetheless, thank you, Sifrin. It's not like you'd be so thoughtful, so I'll definitely keep it as proof. I'm so Odie pilled. I'm so Odie pilled. Listen. Listen. I have a weakness for science women, okay? Proof of what? What proof that Tony Stark has a heart type bullshit? <laughs> well, anyway, she seems happy. Questions. Nah, nothing. Okay, I'll see you at the clock tower later then. You talk to Odie. Cross Odie off the reminder note. Barrels. It's a barrel. Fuck yeah, it is. A little figure of the change god. It's been crafted to dance slightly. So this is a wide smile. So, quick thing I want to point out real quick. Yeah, I know. Um, I fucking love this game already. I see what... So, crafting is like a whole thing. And it looks like crafting is the name of like the different like magic abilities. Looks like there's normal attacking, which does rock, pair, piece, scissors stuff, and then crafting, which is like the magic. Now, there isn't a magic stat, as far as I can tell, but I noticed that each of the different moves has one turn, and it's like a charge, I guess. So I'm guessing every turn we get, like, mana, and then we can use as much of it as we want to. Anyway. One more. Yeah, we can for science women. Who knew? Listen! I have... I am willing to admit it to myself. Door seems to be locked. Interesting. You didn't think a welcoming village like near locked doors? Lock, keeping this closed, has an interesting shape. Didn't have a hole for a key. Is that just a way of saying this is just here for decoration, or...? Because, okay, so here's the thing. I know there's a time loop, so they probably put a lot of work into this opening area. Sign says, Favor Tree. I'm in love with Izabu when we die for him. I feel like I would feel the same way towards Izabu, which I'll see in a second. Hey, Izabu, what's up? This is a Favor Tree. There's nothing for you to do right here, right now. Hey, Izabu. Izabu's here, probably pondering what favor to ask the tree. Isa! Sif! Isa! Sif! Isa! <laughs> Let's fucking go! Sif! Okay, that's it. <laughs> I'm in this bit. No. Boo! <laughs> that's how it has to be, Sifrin. Anyway, I was just looking at the favorite tree. How's this voice for Isa, by the way? Isn't this tree cool? Mm. Yeah, it is. Glad you agree. Oh, no. Wait. One could say it's a pretty... Oh, man. What is the pun here? Okay, I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna let it rip. Uh-huh. Fuck off, Sif! <laughs> yeah! Yeah! Yes! You both laugh. Fuck. Okay, they're good. They're both so good. I better have it ready. Oh shit! Well, no one died. Although I should have it ready anyway, just in case. In fact, you know what? Let me just get it ready real quick. Um. Not plugged in right now. That will work. Ignore that sound. That was me doing nothing suspicious at all. Anyway, uh, Tremendous Tree. Awesome. <laughs> um, how do I turn this up? <laughs> oh man, I, I feel like I need to turn out my soundboard. It's not loud enough. It's not banging enough, you know? It's at max volume, so I guess it's just gonna be a little quiet compared to the music, and that's fine by me. You have a good use for that sound? Awesome! Let's see if I can, like, level this out a bit. Huh. The application's called NWJS, which I'm guessing is a reference to uh, JavaScript. So. Anyway, they're all good. 
but stops and brings it to his side. Ha! That was funny. I'm gonna go soon so you can do your thing with the tree, but uh, do you want to talk before I go? Questions for you, sir. Clock tower, sleepover? Huh? Sleepover? Crab, yeah! Crab, yeah? Okay, sure. Doesn't the clock tower only have three beds, though? Got some Bon Bon Mirror share one, and uh, Madame Odie will take her own. She means we'll share beds again, Sif! I got Tim's on the left side! Oh, am I allowed to sow discourse? Nah, I gotta sleep with the bro! Yeah! Please try not to hog the covers this time. It's getting cold at night. Guys, trees are. Uh, what's up with the big tree? Oh, you don't know about the favorite tree? Yowie. Yowie! Well, this is a random big tree, but when you're a believer that has to change, the biggest tree in a certain place is called a favorite tree. It's like, it's a tree with the most power, so you can ask it things? It's a favor? Like, please help me pass my defender exams? Which is like, a totally random example. Wasn't Isabeau a defender? Did you, pass, did you ask a mythical tree to help you pass your exams? And I passed with flying colors, thank you very much! Well, I did study very hard, so it's not like the tree did much. But even a little bit helps. You should ask the tree for a favor, too. It's a big day tomorrow. What will you do after? After we beat the king? Wow, Sif. So confident. So cool. I like it. I think I'll just return home to Jovent. Jovento? I don't have anything else planned. I wonder how Jovent's doing. When we left it, it was still standing moving, but I think the king's curse may have caught up to it. <laughs> He's so cool. <laughs> so then, will you take your job back? Nah, being a defender kind of lost its shine. I always admired the defenders, you know? It's all about protecting your neighborhood, your city. Help them out with whatever they need. Be getting a cat from a tree or helping an old man with his bags, but when Mir came to Jovent asking for help, after Dormon's house had fallen, I was ready to help for all of Jovent's defenders to help. You know what they said? Nah. And I could tell that they said that because they were scared. The worst defenders see is like a robbery, maybe. So suddenly helping to save Vogard was too much for them. But not helping because you're scared? I just couldn't accept that. That's not brave. So I quit. And I won't go back. Hell yeah! Best kind of cop is the next cop! So I'll do something else. Maybe it's time for me to do something brand new. I got a secret. I've always wanted to be a clothing designer. Oh shit! With that turtleneck, I can tell. So I can maybe take an apprenticeship somewhere. You never knew. That sounds great, Isa. <laughs> I knew you'd approve. What about you, Sif? What'll you do when we beat the king? Start a comedy club. Let's go. Wait, really? Are you serious? Nah. Aw. That would've been cool. Okay. I'll be going now. I'll see you at the clock tower later. You talk to Isabeau. You cross... Time to go to the favorite tree. Favorite tree! Favorite tree! What's good, homeboy? The favorite tree looms above you. Loom! You slowly walk closer to the trunk of the tree, where you can see some leaves you can grab. Give me those. Well, actually, I feel like I wouldn't take all the leaves. Just one? Okay, just one. You need a leaf to ask a favorite tree for something, after all. You look around for a leaf you like, and think. Hmm. Asking for a favor from a higher power, like a big tree, sounds pretty close to a wish, you think. A wish. A wish. Favorite tree seems to be popular among people in Vogard lately. You think if people come to make a wish, they probably need wish for Vogard to be saved. You really didn't need to add another wish like that to the pile. The trees are, are probably already on it. But you'd feel bad wishing for something big and taken away from everyone's wish to save Vogard. Something small, then. Something simple. Something nice. Also, yeah, Waltz is saying words for fun. <laughs> Glad you could hear <laughs> Okay. You have a few ideas. Yeah, there's a Dagogi upstairs, and she loves making noise. She loves woofing and buffing at any intruders. You have a few ideas, but you can only choose one. You wish... Oh, wait. Oh, am I choosing my favorite? To 
to visit more places with Mirabelle, to wear clothes Isabeau has made, to go with Odie and see her country, to be here when Bonnie returns with their sister. I think at this point I've kind of locked myself into Odie route, although Isabeau is a I mean, all of these are very, very good. I love them all. But I'm going to go with Odie on this one. Kabwe is where Odie's from. She probably knows all the cool places. You know, she doesn't. Talking with Odie's always interesting. You're both strangers to this country, ignorant of its culture, so you have a lot in common. Being with Odie is so easy. Some you feel like she and sometimes you yeah. <laughs> sometimes you feel like she understands you better than you understand yourself. Full Odie run. Yeah, I, I figure I'm just gonna lean into Odie on this one, and then probably next time around I'll lean into someone else. You like to talk with her more so you can understand her too. You want to stay with them. I wish in mind you look at the leaf you've chosen and wish. You breathe your wish into the leaf, repeat it three times, and fold the leaf closed, keeping your wish safe. Oh heck, I'm late. Howdy, y'all. Howdy! All done. Gently, you let the leaf go and walk back to the town. You have a sleepover to go to, after all. You can't choose the wish again, just by the way. Oh, cool! Finish getting ready. I got an achievement! So, the clock tower is east of town, past the broken bridge, huh? Maybe time for you to head there. Let's go! <laughs> Bird! Pew pew. He's ray gun ass. And you can give the flower to other people. Oh yeah, I figure as much. I figure I'm going to be able to give it to other people. Yo, running button. Running motherfucker. They mutter run, 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 run repeatedly under their breath. So cool. Alright, I think that's everything I can do here right now. So, go see the one at the top. Oh, the kid? I, I, I've done the tutorial thing, if you mean this. Good luck, old one. Talk later, tutorial kid. <laughs> See you later in the arena. Wait, the bird up top? Is there a special bird at the tree? Did I miss, like, the one special bird at the tree? Okay, hold up, hold up, hold up, hold up. Oh, this one. <gasps> Peep. Peep. Yo, look at this motherfucker. Let's go. Peep Bird, bottom text! Alright, Peep Bird has our... F we have Peep Bird's fucking blessing. Alright, let's have a sleepover. Wait, what do the sheep even say here? They go... Mwah! Wow, that was actually correct. Mwah! Mwah! I can't believe I actually got that right. <laughs> Alright, barrels. That's a barrel. Fuck yeah, it is. That's a barrel. All right. This is the way of clock tower. You didn't actually. You did all you need to do. Now you can join everyone in the clock tower. I can jump. I got ups. Well, I guess I'm the fastest person. Now it's dark. We are in the dark zone now. A lantern. Someone probably put it here to make sure you don't get lost. Too late. Lost. Secret. Oh, okay. This isn't a secret. I'm just a fool. Another lantern. Squad! Sephrin! You're here! We are waiting for you. Let's go inside. I'm so hungry. How hungry? <laughs> You're pretty hungry yourself. I brought a pack of I brought back a bunch of food! Let's go, let's go! Pooh, Bon Bon! That was Delicious! You keep getting better at cooking a Boniface. 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 Whatever the fuck. You keep getting better at cooking Boniface. Those samosas were delicious. Really? Wasn't bad? You liked it? I mean, of course it was delicious! I'm a master cooker, you know. Chef. I'm a chef cooker! That was the perfect meal, Bonnie. We'll all sleep well tonight and be full of energy tomorrow. It was almost too much, to be honest. I don't think I can move. Was it too much? You could have eaten more. Aw, oh, Sif, are you still hungry? Friend, you ate a lot, huh? You like my cooking a lot, huh? Here, have some more food since you're hungry and you like my cooking so much. Bonnie gives you one carrot slice. Oh my god, thank you so much for filling me right up. How can you still eat? How 
could have such a small body eat that much? I'm a grown kid. A grown kid that drinks alcohol? <laughs> True! You're one of the most of people here! You wink cutely. That's it. I, I do this every day. Wink cutely to the camera. Oh no, she's looking at me with the saddest eyes available. Um, everyone? Can I say something? What's up, Mira? Something. Okay. Um, we... We've all been traveling together for a while now. The saddest, wettest eyes. So true! <laughs> it hasn't always been easy, but meeting you all... Traveling through Vogard to get the orbs needed to open the house's gate again? There's no way I could have done this alone. I... I want to say thank you for coming with me this far. But tomorrow we'll go and fight the king. Someone who's thrown Vogard into silly... Oh, I thought I said into silliness. <laughs> he, they just made Vogard so, so silly. Stillness and silence. Someone's now frozen almost all of Vogard in time. I'll do my best to make sure this doesn't happen to any of you, but if you don't want to come, if you want to go back home, I would... Kind of late for that, Mirabelle, isn't it? I know. I... And by that, Madame Odie means that we're with you. Of course I do. You've come this far, after all. Do you really think we leave you behind? You go alone? We'll follow you, Belle. We'll help. Don't worry! We'll stay with you, Mira. You'd never let her go alone, after all. Oh. Oh, thank you! <laughs> Fucking Odie in the background. Isabeau and Bonnie hug. Bonnie looks fucking adorable in this shot. The fucking pout face. This is, the art's really good. Like, okay, here's the thing, is that the art is very, very Tumblr. And I mean that in the best way possible. <laughs> While you and Odie stand a bit apart, like always. This is when the audience of theater would say, aww. Chat, say it. Chat, say aww, or else. The creator's on Tumblr. Yeah, I know. <laughs> Thank you, chat. Thank you, chat. <laughs> we have a big day tomorrow. Indeed. Then good night, everyone. Good night! Sif. I threw up. <laughs> hey. Hey, Sif. Sifrin. Sifaruni! Isabu is whispering your name. Isabo. This is a good shot. <laughs> this scene is so, yeah, this is like peak yaoi. Like, I'm gonna. <laughs> Fucking shots that make me worried I have to check community guidelines. <laughs> um, sorry to wake you up. I just have to tell you something, if that's okay. He dares interrupt your beauty sleep. He knows you value your sleep, so this must be important. You nod. Okay, okay, okay. Then I shall tell you the thing. The thing I woke up to tell you. The poison specifically to kill Cusco. Haha, <laughs> he's nervous. Anyway, uh, okay, so. The thing I have to tell you is that I oh my god wait oh my god wait is he crushing on me don't have anything to tell you right now oh no he's so nervous no but I will when uh, when we beat the king tomorrow okay that's so ominous Isa it's not meant to be <laughs> I uh, just don't want to tell you right now. It might distract you. And we wouldn't want that, right? So uh, I'll tell you when we beat the king. Okay? What could he want to tell you? Seems important to him. So the only thing you can say is... Okay? <laughs> the 
is a good face. Okay. Is that Bonnie? <laughs> yes. Some people are trying to sleep! Yeah, is a boo. Some people are trying to sleep. Close your mouth and sleep. You close your mouth, house maiden. You're gonna wake up, Madame Hody. I'm already up. <laughs> if the noise continues, I will stand up. Do not want to know what will happen if I stand up. Sorry. Sorry, ma sorry, Madame. Sorry. <laughs> Look at this fucking egg of a man. I should rephrase that a little bit, but you know what I mean. Everyone becomes so Issa pilled. Listen, I'm Odie pilled to the end of time, even if I say it wrong every single time. Night, Sif. Feel safe, surrounded by all your friends. You fall asleep. It's the last thing you do, you die! The house's gate. You look up at it. The house's gate, huh? It's bigger than I thought. It's so scary. It really is locked shut. I can see space for us to put the orbs. This whole adventure, this whole journey, after all this time, I can finally open it. Hamster coded Isa. Yeah, hamster coded, I see it. Is this Louisville? Yeah, I mean, I feel like it was like obvious as hell, but peak T-boy swag, let's go. I have my orb right here! <laughs> what the fuck has got the... Wait, let me fucking... My Bonnie impression. Yeah. Meanwhile, see, Odie and... See, we're holding it cool. Like, we're just cool. Anyway. Where am I? Let's go for the... Excuse me. One, two, three, four, five. Fuck! Pixels! Can I line myself up in such a way where... I don't think I can. Yeah, it doesn't look like I can. Ha-ha! I have taken over Bonnie! Ha-ha-ha! Okay. It's a pillar. Sure is. God, Bonnie being on... That's still... This is still one of my favorite fucking, like, screens. I love this. The fucking... And Bonnie! <laughs> I love that shit. Trapping Bonnie in the vortex. So true. As this pillar. It looks a little busted. That sure is a broken pillar. You get me. Alright. You know what? Let's, what if we just leave? Something's keeping you from going back. There's no turning back now. You have to press onwards. Okay, fine. I just thought I'd be a little bit funny. Spooky music. That sure is a pillar. It's a pillar. I'll, for a second, I was trying to see if this was going to be like a snow pop situation. Again, not to be that guy. I mean, like... Here come the Undertale comparisons, but... Oh! Up ahead, that's a sadness. A sadness, huh? The house must be crawling with them. Okay, everyone, let's, um, uh... Don't get overwhelmed now. Come on. We've seen tons of these those already. Don't worry, Belle. We can take care of them, no problem. Okay, but... Mirabelle seems overwhelmed. Maybe talking to make her feel better. Something to distract her. Something like... Oh, my. Should we go over strategy again? D don't tease me, Sifrin! But, um, yes, I would like that. So, uh, to start with, Sifrin should... You're about to enter a battle. Here's some basic stats about you and your party members to remember. You! Scissors type, weak to rock. Fast, can make everyone faster. The Mirabelle! Scissors paper type, weak to rock. 
Heals and boosts friend's attack. Isabo! Isabo, yeah. Rock type, weak to paper. Hits hard, can boost friend's defense. Odie! Paper type, weak to scissors, can use craft spells of any type. Slow, can make enemies slower. Bonnie! Helps out randomly in battle, but most importantly... Snack duty. True! I hate this. Sorry, Bonbon. Bon. The sadness is in here too powerful for your tiny little arms. You can about sometimes, as long as you make sure to keep your distance. We know that's boring, so that's why we also made you in charge of snacks. It's a super duper very important job, you know? The super duper importantest. Don't patronize the kid. Yeah, don't patronize me. <laughs> All good? All good. Smile. Monster time! Makes sense. I've been calling them Undertale likes, but Earthbound like is probably more accurate. Maybe. Whew. Okay, okay. Don't worry. You focus on healing. Big guy over here can hit things. And you, Sifrin, keep the puns and one liners to a minimum, please. <laughs> oh, it's so good. Okay, rude. Examine the sadness first to know what we're up against. So. So it's your job, madame. Yes, please slow down, everyone. Let me attack first for once. It's my turn. I'll examine the enemy by using a craft skill. Odie time. All right, let's see what you're up. What's going on? Remnants of the people that were defeated by the king. Their yeah, grief and sadness is all that remains. They cannot tell friend from foe anymore. I love the idea of going over tutorial stuff as a grounding exercise. Yeah! Actually, a battle theme for the pro game? Okay, so I heard there was like a prequel for this game? I don't know anything about it, but I'm enjoying it. Anyway. Feeding them is all we can do. Every sadness has different resistance and weakness. Maybe there's a way to figure out from their appearance. Uh... You look like someone I can kill... Wait! You're making a scissors with your hand, so use rock? Um... We need to do certain hand signs when we craft skills, so maybe we should look at their hands? Aha! I was smart! Very well done, Boniface. So this sadness must be... Sifrin, what do you think? If you look at its hands, scissors die. Yeah! It's doing a scissor sign! I love being smart! Yay! Indeed it is! So, if this enemy is a scissors type, what's the best type of attacks we can use against it, Sifrin? Your turn again? Uh, paper attacks! Aw, oh, Sif, even I know that's wrong. Wrong. Try again, Sifrin. Paper attacks. Wrong again. Scissors. <laughs> I was hoping for this! Uh, okay, so anytime they give me, like, a choice, my goal is to make them exasperated with me. <laughs> Like I remember that was I remember that was a thing in fucking um I was playing cross code and uh basically just to talk about this fucking there was a, a part where like they give you a quiz on the lore but they realize that you don't have like um you don't you can't like talk normally so they basically make it multiple choice and they're like all right and uh so is the answer to this either A yada yada B yada yada C yada yada or D uh Fuck. And then someone goes, cream puffs! And they go like, okay, well now you know that D probably isn't the answer. So of course I immediately go like... <laughs> Just to hope for the reaction. And unfortunately it wasn't as good as I had hoped, but let's see what you think about all that, Odie. You're not very good at this today, are you? You're so embarrassing, friend! What? No, you were joking! <laughs> Great, now they think you're stupid. Tee hee. Huh? You can see something in the corner of your vision. It seems to throw just... It's literally just rock, paper, scissors. Okay. So this will be useful. Psst. You can turn this helpful visual on and off in the options menu. Your turn again? <sighs> rock attacks. Yeah! <laughs> Bonnie! <laughs> rock, paper, scissors! Exactly. Thankfully, even after examining his enemy, it is still my turn. And thankfully, you can use all three types of craft. Yes, I'm still paper type though, so hopefully the sadness doesn't attack me. Let's go and attack it now. 
Um, rock three. On Tristis. Oh, Tristesse. That makes sense, because I know, um, I don't know French, but I know in Spanish, Triste means sad. Yeah! Great hit, Madame Odie! Uh, well, that symbol that appeared right after you attacked again. The what? I knew you said it before, but I forgore. Ah, good eye, Boniface. Don't worry about it right now. Just remember it's there, for later. Let's finish bleeding up this sadness, shall we? No need to slow down for me anymore. It's our turn to attack whenever our attack gauge is filled, right? It's that gauge that fills up automatically when no one's doing anything! Probably even got for negative emotions in freshman, I think. That makes sense. In Dutch, it's Triest. That's your Dutch lesson for today. Nice. Precisely. Let's defeat this sadness now. Um. Alright, speed up. Mirabelle, um. Do I have a... Is there a difference between the craft and the attack? I don't know, but I'm gonna use attack. I guess I can just use a normal attack. Whoa, wait. The fucking portrait looked crazy. Okay, so I can't use it again for two more turns. Okay, well... Crafts are generally stronger. Okay, so crafts are generally stronger. Got it. Yahoo! We did it! That was easy, wasn't it? It was! Just look at the enemy's hands to find another type and attack accordingly. Let's breathe in and out. 100 experience received. We did it! See you, Mira. It wasn't that bad. Go to the house with a piece of cake! Can you smile and take the lead? Let's go! Craft your spells, they get stronger with cooldowns. Okay, make those. Don't forget to breathe. I will never. Oh, more sadnesses. Well, let's fight them if we want to proceed. Or we could just run and make sure they don't touch us. Um, um, can we keep talking about strategies for a bit, maybe? Hmm? I'd like a refresher, too. Y yes. All right, let's keep fighting, then. We'll end a battle if those sadnesses touch you, Sifrin, so get ready. Oh, look at this dude. All right, what's this one's type? Ziffrin! Ha! Ah! Your turn again? Ah! All right, let's fail this one. I gotta fail this one. Ah! Paper type! No, that's wrong. Scissors type? No, that's wrong. No, that's wrong! All right, it's not gonna give it to us anymore. Rock type. Correct. Erect. <laughs> Yay, Sif! You did it, Sif! Okay, whew. If it's a rock type, what's it weak to? Again?! Stars, you know this! Uh, big to paper! I got it right. Correct. Erect. <laughs> They're wise to your schemes. Sif, you're so talented! <laughs> this is just my friends talking to me and gassing me up. You know so many things! <laughs> You know so- No, that's just Sen gassing me up. You're so talented, you know so many things. Congrats, Sifrin! Ugh. <laughs> Alright, winner of attacks and types. Let's talk about craft skills. Compared to normal attacks, craft skills are more powerful. They may allow us to heal or buff ourselves up. Enemies won't be shy by using craft skills, so we shouldn't either. But using one craft skill means we'll go into cooldown. After using one, we won't be able to execute the same skill for a few turns. It's usually fine, but it might be dangerous with healing skills. I'll try to make sure to use my healing skills carefully so I don't run out of the dangerous moment. But even if it happens, there's items to recharge our cooldown skills. And there might even be skills and equipment out there to help out. That is true. In the meantime, let's attack, shall we? Feel free to try things out. Alright, everybody go fast. Oh no, you're weak. Um, boost attack. Um, your paper type. Alright, paper three. 
You're so powerful. Whoa! I was right. Holy shit. Damn, okay. <laughs> Fucking goodbye. Odie really said paper. <laughs> Aw. But really, what were those symbols that appear when you did rock, paper, scissors attack? You'll see. Breathe in and out. Alright. Let's go, let's go get that other one. I'm scared, I'm scared, I'm scared. Fine, let's go. Caption blocks the turn order thing. Could you please move the game a bit? Oh, shit. Yeah, you're right. All right. Let me... Thank you for that up on that. Let me... There we go. Alright, what's this one's type? <laughs> Let's see. Eeny, meeny, miny. Do you know this? Oh, shit! That's not Sifrin! Isabeau? Huh? <laughs> me? Well, uh, it's paper time, madame. And so it means it's weak to scissors. Sis type. And Mirabelle's. A and Mirabelle's, of course. Oh, yeah, no, he's down bad. I have scissor skills at my disposal as well. Yes, madame, I knew that. Uh huh. Since we get scissors, I think you should scissors attack a bunch. Great idea, Boniface. I wonder what will happen if we use the same type of craft skill multiple times in a row. <laughs> oh, I see. I understand now. Feels like you guys are on a roll with those scissors attacks. I don't have any scissors attacks, so how about I give my turn away to someone who does, which is, like we established earlier, literally everyone but me, I guess. Ha! That's you from being rock type. Hey, everyone, I'm being bullied by a preteen? <laughs> True! Please advise. You'll get over it. But great idea, Isabeau. To make <laughs> sure that you keep using the same type right after another, use that skill of yours to give your turn away. Or you can guard if you want. My cool your turn craft skill. I'm not saying that. <laughs> Fucking great. Give it to your boyfriend. Okay, so next let's... Whoa! Madame Odie! Uh, Santa's about to attack Odie. Oh no! Oh no! Isabel... Isabel got in front of her. Wait, no, that's bad! Whoa! Isabeau! Owie. I'll see you all in a minute. <sighs> Isabeau is KO. <laughs> Are you okay? Oh yeah, I'm fine. Don't you need someone to be KO'd for your tutorial anyway? Very true. Let's keep the tutorial going then. Thank you for playing along. No problem. I'll stay right here then. Stop talking! You're KO! And KO people can't talk, dummy! God, you're so right. Okay. Hmm. Is it really okay? Anyway, when someone's health points or HP goes down to zero, they'll be out cold, and they won't be able to fight anymore. There are multiple ways to wake him up, like using a crafted water, or if Mirabelle knew a craft skill to revive him. How about we make this interesting with... Oh! I remember what the scissors sam samples are for! If we do a combo, we can have five of the same symbols, we can do a jackpot skill! Exactly, Boniface! And see? You already have a combo of three right here. When you find the same symbol, whether rock, paper, or scissors, we'll be able to use a jackpot skill. Only rock, paper, and scissors attacks count for the jackpot, by the way. Excuse me, we need to be careful with how we use those skills, but we can use any other type of skill or item without ba breaking the combo. Yay, a combo will save me. Please do a combo. You heard the man. Let's add two more scissors symbols to our lineup, shall we? Combo save me. Now get ready. Oh, that was a cute little shot. Yahoo! He won. And I'm not out cold anymore. Every time we manage to use jackpot skill, and he was out cold is revived. And we'll all get healed a little bit as well. Maybe try to do combos as often as you can. Mm. That's cool and all, but... What if you won without doing that jackpot skill? Would you have just left me there? No, of course not! 
We have some items? We, we would have revived you! We'll always revive anyone who's KO after a battle. Can't make unconscious people run around, can we? I really we are you really this upset that we left you alone for two minutes? Nah, not really. I'm just doing my part. <laughs> jackpot. Save me, Jackpot. True. Plus, the floor was nice and refreshing. True! That's sad. It is, but you're not supposed to say it aloud, Boniface. <laughs> True. Hey! Now see, it is a little refresher. All good, Mirabelle? Yes. Thank you very much. You think you got everything, too? You breathe in and out. 100 experience received. Sorry for not paying attention, Isabeau. Ah, oh, don't worry about it. I'm all good. Anything for the tutorial. True! Ha! Huh. Let's get going, then. Yo! Demily with the raid! Of 114. Hello, everybody, and welcome to the stream. We're playing a game called, um, In Stars in Time. It's a game about a time loop, I think. Thank you for the resub, Dem. Five months. Let's go. Um, I need to, like, get shoutouts set up on my stream so I can give a shout-out to people like Demly. But, Demly, how's your stream? You're doing MGS2, right? Anyway, for everyone who's here for the first time, hello. I'm Ryan Jongo Show. You might know me from things. Um, how was it? I've heard a lot about MGS, and, like, I know the story, but I've never actually played them. Uh, did you get to the part with the... Well, I'm not gonna spoil anything, obviously. Isn't there, like, a bisexual vampire in the second one? Have you gotten to that? I don't know. Anyway, it is pretty crazy, yes. Has a time loop happened yet? We have not gotten a time loop yet, but we're waiting for it. We're excited about it. Hasn't happened yet, though. We met the vampire. Hell fucking yeah! Anyway, so we are just at the beginning of this game where, uh, this is the first time we just finished, like, a combat tutorial. Um, so now we're just gonna try to decide which way to go. I'm choosing left. Storage room! Let's look around! I see a few tonics on those tables. Make sure to pick them up and give them to Bonnie before we leave. Check out that closet, too. There might be some cool stuff in there. Let's check those out. I think I will. Look at what's on the table. One ginger juice and pepper juice. Pepper juice? Someone just took the bottle from you. Was it Bonnie? Bonnie. <laughs> yeah, me too, Bonnie. This game has a science one, which is woman's weakness. Yeah. Yeah. D said I'm on spice duty. Still, that's a lot of spices you found there. Oh, oh, I know this one! Pepper raises your attack, ginger raises your defense, and thyme makes you faster. Because spicy stuff makes people angry, ginger makes you not sick, and thyme... Well, I don't actually know what thyme makes you faster. Me neither. <laughs> Any more? Got some more? Super sour tonic. Oh, sour tonics for everyone to share. You know, I always wondered why they're more powerful than regular sour tonics when they're the same size. They're just that concentrated. I tried drinking a full super sour tonic once. And... What happened? I couldn't taste anything for weeks. This, this, is just a, this is just a very pleasant group of people. Yeah, also, it gives you more time. That, that's probably the most obvious answer, and I'm really glad they just avoided it. Some small glass containers. You look around. Sour tonic. Just normal sour tonic. Someone just took the bottle from you. Is it Bonnie? I love this shot because it looks like she's looking at you. Well, it looks like they're looking at you, like, with disdain. Like, what the fuck? Did you just pick up my tonic? D said I'm also on tonics duty. Tonics are good to keep your HP up so you don't get knocked out in battle. They're very sour. But sourness is sure to make you more awake and ready for anything. What's this? Crafted water. Give, you just give it all to them? <laughs> You learn fast, friend. Be careful with those items, Boniface. Guard them well. Be ready to throw at us if we need them during battle. It's probably safer than making us all carry some. But Sif found those. You don't trust Sif to keep our items safe? The person who a few weeks ago mixed up all the items we had to make... Wait, all the items we had to make a so-called super potion. No, I don't trust Sif when it's items. Ha! <laughs> you cutely bat your eyes. Oh! Oh! <laughs> Sif is so, so naughty. Sif is so, 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 so they. <laughs> I don't even know, man. Um, this is a crafted water. It sure is. It sure is. Sorry, I'm just checking something real quick. Okay, cool, cool, cool. If someone gets knocked out during battle, just a drop of it is enough to wake him right up. Someone at school told me it was just coconut water. Wait, is it? <laughs> 
You open the closet. Full of boxes and papers. Fuck yeah! I love boxes and papers! Check everything, everything. I will. And a pendant shaped like a bell. Bell pendant! Wow, I got it right. Let's go. Well, that closet was useless. But pretty pendant, though. Can the pendant heal me when I'm hurt? Maybe it can. You don't know. Look at the pendant closely. This is a pendant shaped like a bell. But you like it, so you put it in your own pocket along with your souvenirs. It's not like any useful items will usually be visible. But you might get some useless but interesting things if you check everything in a room. Oh, everything you say? A stool. A barrel. It's full of various nuts. I love nuts! It's a barrel full of water. I love water! It's a barrel full of water. I fucking love water. Stool. Stool. Wait. A sign. Some flyers. They say, House of Change open. Come and see what you can do for the community, what the community can do for you. I remember when James, John said that. It was John, not James. There are people with sparkly eyes holding hands drawn on it. <laughs> I drew those a few years ago to get people to come to the house. It's a little embarrassing now. You think they look nice. Okay. Someone told me to look at the thing in the thing. Oh, it's in the... I need to actually look at the pockets. A pendant without its chain. It's shaped like a bell. You look at the pendant. It's shaped like a bell. And you're sure it'll go ding ding when you shake it. You shake the pendant. It goes ding ding! Yes! 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 As if summoned, funny the funny noises of appreciation crew jump to your side. Ding ding. Ding ding! Ding ding. If you had a chain, you'd wear the pen and go ding ding all day long. Let's fucking go! I'm glad that Mirabelle and Isabeau fucking get me. What else can I look at here? Silver coin! You roll the coin around your pocket. Oh, that's so good. The ding ding bottom text. Alright, what's over here? There's something sparkling there. It's an item! What's the sparkling thing? Oh, it's a key! Could it be a key to open the door? Probably, right? You pick it up. You found the circle key. The keychain dangling from it is shaped like a circle inside of a circle inside of a circle. Huh, interesting. It's a target! Bullseye! What's up with these circles? The design of the keychain, you mean? It's one of the symbols of the House of Change belief. It's a show we're all part of something bigger. The first circle is inside the bigger circle, which is also inside the bigger circle. It's also part of a house maiden's uniform. Like Belle's brooch. Yes. This is how I decided to wear it, but you can wear it however you want. A necklace, a design on your clothes, or not at all. Breaking traditions is also part of the change belief. And the teardrops on your brooch, brooch, whatever. Pretty. Goes ding ding when I walk. Ding ding. Don't you love it when things go ding ding when you walk? I fucking love it when things go ding ding when I walk! Sure do. <laughs> What's in his face? <laughs> Is he horrified by the ding ding? Wait, is that them trying to pressure me into... Hold on. You look at the pendant, it's saved like a bell, you're sure... Okay, we're here again. Goes ding ding. As if summoned the funny noises, appreciate you jumping to your side. Ding 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 ding. Ding ding. If you had a chain, you could wear the pendant. I need to find a chain. Now! A statue of the change god. It's been destroyed. Oh no! Don't like that. A broken pillar. That sure is a broken pillar. It's a pillar. It sure is. You're watching the stream, but I'm watching you iced t-shirt. You're watching the stream, but I'm watching you iced t-shirt. What does that mean? Anyway. Key time. Keytsa time. All right, let's go! You dig us at four, when suddenly... Oh, fuck! A light flash. Is something wrong, Siphon? Did you see that light? A light? Here. You should take a look at this. Oh, there it is. Something wrong, Sif? You point toward the light. So they can't see it. Reaching out, you touch the light. Everyone was healed. Oh, that's nice. Save your progress. Okay, so it's something that only I can see. Interesting. Alright, cool. Saved. Just like under the tail. It's literally under the tail. What was that about? Received a good omen. Oh, yeah? Oh? news what was don't know don't care let's please get going 
You nod. You know what? I respect it, Odie. What? Wait! Ah! What? What is it? Sorry for screaming. Sorry. Sorry. Um, I, um, I don't know if this is relevant, but I, um, I recognize this corridor. Oh? I recognize it. The, ha the head house lady of this house used to warn us about it. I think... I think she called it the, the death corridor. Oh, that sounds bad. <laughs> so, so, um... The house is supposed to be a safe building, but with the king here, some traps might be activated. Is this what you mean? I could go to sleep, but I'm going to stay at least a time with Okay. Traps? Traps? A job for me, then. It is your job. Protect us, trap master! Not the first time you've had to reassure Mil Mirabelle. Time to look around. Bonnie's looking intently at a wall. Found anything interesting, Bonnie? Negative. Keep looking, kiddo. I'm sure you'll find something. I might! You don't know! I'm messing my legs while you look around. Have fun. Please, be careful. What do you think, buddy? Go, Sifrin! Go, Sifrin! Go! I tell you how to do your job, but make sure to check everything. Which is just those six pillars, I guess. <laughs> I enjoy having Mirabelle just like watching. She's going, like, mm -hmm. she's so nervous. Did you find something? There is something. Yep, a whole lot of nothing. Got him. Pillar, nothing here. Nothing. We're in the clear. Well, you can't find any switches or traps, so... So... So, are we safe? We're not safe, are we? This is the death corridor. The older housemate and Kip saying people died there! So there must be a trap. Something weight-sensitive or something. Or, or maybe it's time-sensitive. We spent too long here. Oh, come on now. There's nothing weird in here. But there must be! Aw, oh, Mira. Bell, Bell, don't worry about it. Friend isn't good at many things, but they know stuff about traps. Hey, right. If we can't trust the one who's supposed to lead us this early, this won't bode well for later. Hey! We're not dead yet, are we? Well, that's true. We have been in this room for a while, and Sifrin has been walking everywhere. So if it was weight sensitive, something would have killed him by now. Exactly! It's all fine! Oh. Yeah. Yeah, okay. I I'll believe you. We're about to die. Nothing bad ever happens in the death quarter. That's true. Nothing bad ever happens in the death quarter. Sorry for worrying. I'm a little on edge. We're good, Mira. See? He is about to be killed! He is about to die! As you live through the novel experience having your body crushed by a giant rock, you feel a tug on your stomach. Well, I mean, I'll give him this. While he was alive, he really rocked. Too easy! Anyway, tug on my stomach, and... I'm done! <laughs> Start again. Okay. The VCR font's interesting. Ah, uh, it said loop one! Huh? Friend? Sifrin! Sifrin, good morning! Well, more like... Good afternoon, I guess. Were you taking a nap? That was atrocious. Sifrin would be so proud. True! That's just like you. Only you could sleep peacefully at a time like this. <laughs> I guess that's smart. We better get some rest while we can. We have to be ready for tomorrow so we can finally face against the king. 
Huh? You're still half asleep, aren't you? You just look at her. Okay, then. You can sleep for a little longer, but not too long. Come to the village when ready, okay? Huh? Huh? Hold on. Did you just die? You did, you think. You must have. You were in the house, and a big rock fell on you, and now you're in the meadow back in Dormont. What Mirabel just said to you, waking up, that was very familiar? Also, Stona 32 thank you for the raid with a party of eight. Welcome, we're playing In Stars in Time, a very, very cool game about time loops, and that's how you know that I'm going to love it, because I love time loops. Also, women. Welcome, raid. Ah, the trap, the trap! You idiot! You stupid fool! It's your job to take care of traps when you got taken out immediately. You don't even see a glimpse of the king. And it's your job, stupid. Your job to see ahead, take care of the traps. You couldn't even do your job, and now you're dead. Because you did a sloppy, awful, terrible job. And you died. You died! You felt your body being crushed, now you're laying on the grass alive, and your skin itches, but your stomach hurts, but you died! Put your hands over your mouth and scream. Stars! So stupid, useless, and dumb! Yeah! Hmm, that doesn't sound very constructive. Also, Fuzzball Vet Dave, thank you for the follow. Okay, you're over it now. <laughs> you take a deep breath in and out. Put your shaky hands behind your back, pressing them hard between you and the grass. Bros, repression, Georg. Yeah. Okay, you died. That's one thing. And now you're alive. And not a crepe. That's another thing. It's apparently the day before, back when Mirabelle woke you up from your math. That's the third thing. You went... Back in time? Okay, that's normal. Totally normal. Totally 100% completely normal! <sighs> oh well. At least you were in the lead, as always. Just where you were when you died, you probably got... You're probably the only one who got hit. The only one that... In a way, you're really glad you forced them to take... You, you're forced to take the lead and everyone else gets somewhere dangerous. But, you're back. Back the day before you went to the house. How? And why? And, can you make sure not to die this time? Back to work, Zifrin. You have a country to save. You'll always remember this. Yay, cool. Memories the type of item you can equip. Each memory specific to one character gives them special abilities. For example, the memory you just got can only be equipped by you. When memory of looping is equipped, you'll boost your max HP by plus five per loop. Ooh! That's pretty spicy. What's this voice you've been hearing this whole time? <laughs> Wait, I feel like that's... Uh, I feel like... Are we gonna do meta shit? Because I'm here for that. I just want to know. All right. Memory of looping isn't that good right now, though. Memory of self is just better, because plus five doll stats. What's up? Pew pew! Pew pew! Sifrin, you're up! Oops, you don't know how to act right now. You've seen this once before, so you should maybe act the same? Figure something out, quick! Quick! Hey, uh, hey again, Mira! Still have a sleep, huh? How was your nap? Okay, take two. Say something. Make normal words come out of your mouth. Smart normal words. Go! <laughs> yes! Correct! I was taking nap time. I know that. I was there. Oh, stars. Oh, wait! I had something I wanted to ask you. Um, I have an idea for tonight. This will be the final night before we go to the king, so make a special somehow. So, I was thinking, what about a sleepover? Let's all eat good food together. Sleep in the same room. Maybe tell stories would be nice, wouldn't it? Suddenly you remember where this conversation's heading. This is the moment of the conversation where you made Mirabelle upset! Can you change it? Can you change fate? We're gonna wait to find out. Something like... That sounds like an amazing idea, Mira! Yeah? Oh, I'm so glad you think so! Fate changed! Fate changed! Fate changed! I was thinking it'd be a little silly, but... If you think it could be fun, then great! I can't wait. This will be delightful. I'm smiling just thinking about it. Mission complete! So you can change things. Ghost trick fate change sound effects. Yeah. This is a small change, but your fate isn't set in stone. Then... So could you let everyone know? Really appreciate it. Sure. Okay, let me think. Demo should be... Yeah, 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 yeah. 
Saying the clockwork tower the east of town, right past the Broom Bridge, you can tell everyone we'll meet up there later. That was a lot of names and places. Will you remember? You think so, yes. I always remember things. Well, unrelated to your memory, here's a <laughs> no evidence collision, just in case you forget! Okay, see you at the clock tower later then. I'll be near the library if you need me. Come talk to me whenever. Oh, and don't forget to check the change guide statue too, for good luck! Wave goodbye, awesome. Okay, that was a slightly different than what you remembered, but still. So it seems you really are repeating the same day, with small differences. And Mirabelle doesn't seem to be aware of it. Are you the only one, rep you the only one repeating today? What should you do? So. Wait, is that God? She comes a favorite tree when you have a chance, Stardust. Oh, that's God. I don't know what voice to give him. If I see it again, I'll be sure to do a funny voice. What? Let me see something real quick. Okay, I do not have the ding ding. I mean, it makes sense. This is earlier in the timeline, but... Looking down on you. Change could be mad if you got a blessing again. All we take first, don't we? Give me fast! Thank you. You actually feel a little faster. You jump in place, trying to notice anything change. You jump right into a point and rock. Let's go! Once believe you can go to the change guy statue and boost one of your stats. Okay, so this is how it's like being it's like a rogue light almost. Except I'm not sure if it shifts or not. Anyway. Every time you loop back here, don't forget to go to the change guy statue. Okay, I won't. Okay. Just keep stacking speed buffs. Yeah, give it ray voice. Okay, yeah. He did call him Stardust, so... Oh, some people were saying Flanagan, some people were saying Ray Voice. And by some people, I mean Sen, so... I don't know, there's so many choices. I don't remember the voice I fucking gave Joe Drift, honestly. Does it actually stack? I never noticed. Oh, the buffs don't stack? Shit, never mind then. Hey... Hey, uh, Issa. Hey, uh, Sif. Are you still out of sleep? You're stuff taking forever, Nack Sif. Nats give you cotton brain. Anyway, I was just looking at the favorite tree. Isn't this tree cool? Oh wait, you remember this? Yeah, it is. Glad you agree. One can say it's pretty. Uh huh. <laughs> <laughs> yeah! Yeah! Yes! You both laugh. Laughing up he reaches his hand towards your shoulder, but stops and brings it to his side. Oh, he is down so bad. Didn't he do this before? What a weird gesture. <laughs> that was funny. Anyway, tree feels weird somehow. Maybe it's just me. What? Tree feels weird? Yeah. Like, feels weird. But not mean. Like, if a lion came towards you and offered you some candy, that'd be weird, right? That kind of weird. What? <laughs> Wait, do I do I clue him into the time loop? I'm gonna clue this boy into the time loop. Did you see that last time? Last time? What do you mean? I just started feeling like this now. The tree feels weird. Maybe you should go take a look at it. Uh, I'm gonna go soon so you can do your thing with the tree. But if you want to talk before I go? You, you don't need to talk to your allies about things that have already done, but you're still there in case you need a refresher. Anything weird happened lately? Yeah, the tree. I told you. Something feels off. But I have other things to worry about, so who cares? Oh, I didn't get the flower first! Okay, I'll be going now. See you at the clock tower later. No. I'll see what this is all about. The favorite tree. Isabeau said the tree felt weird, and you heard someone telling you to come here, didn't you? Isabeau voice, who give a shit? <laughs> What's that voice? You walk towards the tree. You can talk to him later if you want. True. The tree's so big, everything under it's dark as night. But you feel like someone's here, sitting at the foot of the tree, looking at you. Cautiously, with a hand on your dagger, you walk towards the base of the tree. Well, uh, you found someone, all right. Uh, hello, stranger. Oh, yeah? He's getting Ray voice. Or they are. Hello, stranger. S 
star? My! Struck speechless at the sight of me, aren't you? You're so cute, Stardust. Stardust? Ray voice fits. Yeah, Ray voice works. Aw, oh, Sifrin, look at you. All lost and confused. Huh? Wait, how do you know my... Why wouldn't I know? You're Sif! Sifrin! No middle names, no last name, just Sifrin. I shouldn't wonder why you look like this, though. It makes sense that you'd feel overwhelmed, considering this is your first loop and all. Huh? How do you- oh, Of course I know, Stardust! I know about you, I know about your party, about the loops, about that funny silver coin you carry. Alright, that's it. Can you stop talking, please? Oh, stars, no need to yell. Let's take a deep breath in and out, okay? Breathe with me, let's go! In? Your head hurts and your hands are shaking, your heart is beating like it's about to explode, so you probably should. Slowly, following the astral being, you breathe in. And out. <sighs> Alright. Who I am, right? Well, let's see. Let's go with... Uh, loop. It's a loop! <laughs> look at... Look, I can see Loop's little feet, I just noticed. Your ally, Loop. Can help you with the loops. Easy to remember, right? And for pronouns, you may address me with the royal we. <laughs> let's go! Um, that doesn't make any sense. Ah, uh, yes, that's true, isn't it? Then just use they, them for me. I'm sure you'll think about me all the time, so you might as well know what pronouns to use. Yeah, better know this one's pronouns so you can think very clearly in your head that they're getting on your nerves. Reference secured, reference secured. Your turn, you guys. I use he, they, I know. It's in your profile. I can read, you know. My what now? Anyway, Stardust, I'm here to help. Ask whatever questions your little heart desires. Yeah, this is just the... This is just the prism character. Okay, puts my money in the thing. <laughs> Let me know, bitches, pronouns before I curse they ass out, tight beat. True! What's that? Getting hiccups, I'm trying to wash it down. Full of hang now. Ugh. Questions, questions. You said I'm, uh, looping? Oh, getting right into it. I like it, Stardust. Are you sitting down? You better sit down. You're gonna, need a, you're gonna get a lot of info at once. You sit down. <laughs> hey, you let my children out or else I'm gonna sit down. Your grandchildren's gonna need grandchildren lawyers. So, you're stuck in a time loop. Fun, right? Which means that every time you die, you'll loop back, and you'll get to try it all over again. No matter how horribly or stupidly you die, like, let's say, I don't know, for example, crushed by a giant rock, you'll always come back. They saw that? Did you see? Of course I saw Stardust. How can I help you if I don't know what you're doing? Also, you probably noticed that a lot of things got reset, right? Your party members were saying the same things, all the items you got while you were in house disappeared. Yeah, you notice your pockets got emptier. <laughs> Loop, you should kill yourself. <laughs> Teleports the sent teleport back. I did it. I did it. <laughs> because I didn't pick anything up yet, right? Stardust, you smart cookie, you got it. So you'll have to pick them up again, if you want. But you probably should. So you got a long road ahead of you. So what about I have to pick up keys again too? Yep! Every time! Well, until you learn. Huh? Learn what anyway! This is a lot of information, but don't worry. You'll pick things up as you go along. Oh, but your weapons and equipment won't be reset, though. So that's good news. Isn't it nice you get to keep your cool, powerful equipment? Especially since you, Stardust, will keep whatever experience you have, but the rest of your party won't. Compensate by having powerful weapons equipped. Your friends won't grow and get experience like you? I guess it makes sense, since they won't remember whatever enemies you face. Speaking of your party, you can tell them about the loops if you want. They might be able to help, and nothing's keeping you from telling them, so... Uh, why? Why, w why would I tell them? Game said you will vividly remember where every single key in this game is forever. Yeah. Why wouldn't you? Don't you need help? Uh, you've just learned that you can start again as many times as you want and fix your mistakes. Why would you need help? You're the one in position to help your friends here. I don't really need their help. 
Right, because you got me! Not what you meant. Questions, questions. What should I do now? Let's see. Have you tried not dying? So true! I haven't tried that yet! I don't know. Just an idea. Just go back to the house and try again! Maybe die again. Guess we'll see! Remember, no death is wasted. Thanks, that was useless. Any advice? Advice! Yes, I have advice. Don't eat pineapples. You're allergic. <laughs> Am I? <laughs> My man's never had a pineapple before. You really are. <laughs> Don't try it. Oh, you look so steamed. Okay, real advice, real advice. Why were we talking to your party? Didn't you see a weird symbol up here? Two little triangles, maybe? Might help with some conversations you've heard before. If you see it, you can zone out by pressing the shift button. It makes you stop listening. It makes conversations go faster. No point in staying aware for conversations you've already experienced, Tom. Let's try the next text box so you know how it works. I'm talking now, so press shift whenever. Manifesto. Nope, that was the wrong button, Stardust. Wrong again. I said shift. Come on now, this is getting silly. <laughs> no, don't press that silly. Press shift. Let's try again. I'm talking. Okay, yeah. <laughs> that's cute. Yeah, I must say, I hope that's a pineapple you can eat. To I really hope that I can eat a pine. The second I see a pineapple, I'm eating that shit. I hope you guys know. How's the game going? Great. I'm allergic to pineapple, and there's a star person who is giving me tips. You did it. It'll take some time for you to get used to it, but it'll save you time for sure. You might miss what your party's saying, but who cares, right? If you make them mad, you can always loop back and they'll have forgotten all about it. If I'm going to say it another way, you see this icon during conversation, press shift, fast forward through it. Awesome. Ow, 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 ow. You don't know how they did that, but their voice resonated through your head. <laughs> you've heard that voice before, yesterday. Well, another version of today, really. So they were the voice you've been hearing, giving you advice. See, I'm useful. I'm very, very useful. That's why I'm here. Helpful loop. That is useful, but... Why are you helping me? Because I think you should be helped. I won't always have the answers, but... I think having someone on your side to talk to is better than dealing with this alone. Sifford <laughs> shoving Hawaiian pizza into their face at light speed. True. Right? I never asked for your help. Tough luck, Stardust! I'll still help you out. Alright, that's all I have for you right now. But don't forget to come to me when you feel stuck, okay? Okay, I'll be right here under this tree. Don't forget! Bye! They wave you excitedly. You awkwardly wave back as you go. Well, that was fun. Loop, huh? They're a little annoying, but if you find yourself stuck at some point, or just need someone to talk to, they might be able to help. Pete! Pete Bird! Imagine there's a pineapple right at the final boss, end of the game, tempting you. That's, honestly, that's the mood. Fuck this, I'm going back to sleep. Uh, fine. Oh, wait, the safe spot right there. That's cool. Okay, so we got the boost there. Hey, you! You strange adult with the hat! My name is Tutorial Kid. My mom said you're very strong. You're gonna help save us all. I'm gonna challenge you to know your strength. So, let's play Rip Scissors! You already know a lot, but it won't hurt to get a refresher. Maybe this kid knows things you don't. Any advice? Hmm, I have advice for you. What do you need? Nothing. I will learn the way. Nothing. Chuck, fucking no. Oh my god. Okay. Ah! Normal attacks are weak in the craft skills, but it doesn't mean they're useless. Only like craft skills, they don't go into cooldown. And more importantly, protect your shields a little bit faster after using a normal attack. That's cool. Okay. Talk to you later, tutorial kid. Let's see each other again in the arena! True. Okay, important thing. You give it, right? Wait. Why is this not new? I thought it would let me skip this. Don't you have a flower to give me or something? 
They are shiny and delicious. Where was the flower again? Oh, it was in the house. Yeah, flowers up top. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> it's just him nodding. That's or them. Yeah, it's him nodding. Just going like, uh, okay, yeah, uh huh, uh huh, uh huh. Um, I think this time I'm gonna give it. To Odie again. Uh, hey, uh, Odie. Oh, Sifrin. You look rested. Glad to see you this laid back on the day before the end of the world. Anyway, how can I help you? Questions. Oh, yeah, I need to tell you about the clock tower thing. Sleepover? Uh, you guys really are kids. I suppose so. Nonetheless, I'll be there. Poor Boniface probably needs it. Maybe we all do. But there only has three beds. We did this. Your and Bonnie are sleeping together. Uh, I'm sleeping with Issa. Mm, guess we did that. Let me skip this, please. I do need to tell her every time. Oh, wait. I don't need to tell her the clock tower thing every time. Okay, that's what it means. Or some lines that are inexplicably unskippable. Someone said that apparently uh, Issa's up here now. Hey, Issa. You want to freak the fuck out? Hi again, Sif. What's up? Check this shit out. <laughs> I've destroyed you! What? A flower? For me? You're the old one here, Issa. No, it's for the old lady! <laughs> yeah! Uh, Issa Bo takes the flower and cradles it gently in his hands. Oh, look at this gay ass! Thanks, Sif. I I'll treasure it forever. He seems happy. Okay! Let me know if you need anything, okay? Alright. Um... Wait, do I need to tell him about the clock tower thing? We said we were going to meet up, but... Let me see. Uh, clock tower sleepover? Sleepover, crab yet, yeah, and clock tower only three beds, though. Sure. I could... I could bed with Mira, but... I'm sure that's, like, for another route or whatever. Like, I just say, I'm sleeping with Mira tonight, and then that's, like, how we got a Mira route or whatever. Where'd Mira go? Oh, Mira's right there. I'm dumb. You leave any shrieks with joy? Yeah. All right. Game, are you going to let me go, or do I have to talk to Bonnie first? Hey, let's go. I don't even need to talk to Bonnie. I can just go. We're waiting for you. Let's go. Yeah, uh-huh, sure. Psst! Stardust! As you're about to take another samosa to munch on, you hear Luke's voice and try not to jump. <laughs> sorry, sorry. So here again, huh? Don't worry, you'll get to zone out during this entire event if you want. But there is something. You'll be able to zone through most conversations if you've seen at least once, yes. Some might be slightly different. Oh, don't stress out about it. Don't worry. If it was really important you'd stop zoning out immediately. But just remember that you can zone out doesn't mean the events will be exactly the same. So zone out and miss some small things, or to listen to it all again. What a dilemma. That's all. Bye, Stardust. Hmm. You go back to your samosa. Sweet. You didn't eat much this time. Your stomach feels weird. You didn't like it? Whoa, uh oh I'm not very hungry. But you're always hungry! Whoa, uh oh I may have eaten some bread earlier. Sifrin! How could you, how could you do this to four Boniface? Look at them. They're pounding so hard they're about to explode. <laughs> mm, yes! Kaboom! I exploded! Sifrin was destroyed on impact! A beautiful explosion. Sifrin, you died because of your- Wait, did I actually die? <laughs> was it just me that died? Yes! You were the only casualty! That's fine then. You still dramatically fall over for good measure. No. How could this happen? <laughs> if it reset right now, this would be so funny. Okay, yeah, so she was like, I love all of you. We'll stay with you, Mira. For as long as you can. Isabeau's whispering your name. Hey, gay boy. 
thing I have to tell you is that I don't have anything to tell you right now. <laughs> That's still so ominous, Issa. It's not meant to be. I just don't want to tell you right now. I might distract you. You want that, right? Okay. <laughs> That's still so ominous. You fall asleep. Good. We're sleepy time now. I love the little uh-huh, 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 uh-huh. As the game goes for it's pretty fun! I'm in the second time loop. It's not gonna make me go through the tutorial again. I like the floor to lease in the background. Okay, so I can't go back. Cool. Huh. You know what? Oh, there we go. Oh, up ahead, that's... Same sadness as before. A sadness, huh? She was crawling with him. Last time she felt better after talking strategy. You could do that again, or you could, you know, save time. Well, that was just defeated. She'll be fine anyway, won't she? Uh, okay. You'll be okay, Mira? Yes! Let's go, everyone! Monster time! Now let's do it! Everyone's so happy. All right, Mirable time. Pretty buffy friend. All right, Isabeau, kill. Uh, you can kill two, I guess. I haven't used exam. I haven't used fucking um the examine move past the first one, but let's see if we can go. We did it, first try. We did it! See, Mira, it wasn't that bad. Go cool, that was a piece of cake! Smile and take the lead. Alright, I'm sure this won't be too bad, right? Any predictions of the Game Awards? I know I'm gonna be streaming it, so that's gonna be a thing. Alright, what do you think of this freak, um... Oh god, that's bad. Um... Um, your turn, Odie. Alright, first things first, let's examine this bad boy. Odie, analyze, analyze the enemy! Bad men's people are defeated by the king. Their grief and their status is all that remains. They cannot self-end from foe anymore. Defeating them is all we can do. Every side has different resistance and weakness. We figure out from their appearance. Okay, we just get the hand sign thing. Okay, so it's the hands, got it. I'll give, I'll, see, I'll give my big, uh, uh... Game War prediction on Thursday, because that's gonna be when I fucking stream it. Um, get papered, idiot. All right, I'm guessing it'll say the same thing, but. Yowchie! Good thing I resisted that. Ha ha ha. Um, knife to meet you. You say a cool one-liner. <laughs> Your belt twirls. Good twirling. Ten out of ten. How are you not dead? Be dead. Thank you. Yeah, it's nice they made exam and not take a turn. That's really good. Okay, let's heal everybody real quick. Record for this location. Interesting. Just putting down the save, so we have it. Alright, let's grab all this stuff. Uh, items to pick up again. Do we really need items? Oh, I'm surprised to hear this from you, since you just love picking up to pick up random things. Of course we need those items. Tonics, juices. Those items will keep our health up and are integral to our survival. We can always count on Mirabel to heal us. Don't hesitate to use tonics or items in battle if you get overwhelmed. Seems important. You try to remember those words. It'd be bad to be beaten in a battle because you forgot about the items you carry. 
You got a memory of tonics. Yay! I remember tonics now! Any tonic researcher uses to recover more. Oh, that's cool. Sour tonic. Yeah, we've seen all that. And then grab this one. And now the important item. Hmm. I wonder if you can find a chain for its own. Yes! We're on the ding- We're fucking ding ding pilled. You wonder if you can find a chain for it. Yeah, I wonder if I can find a chain for it. Game, you know me so well. Okay, new plan. Yeah, no, we already know this. I don't know why I did this. Okay, so I decided to wear it, but you can wear it however you want. Is a necklace design or not at all? So cool. Don't you love when things go ding ding when you walk? Sure I do. You're still curious about this. But the big circle isn't inside anything. It's inside your hand, Sifrin. And you're inside this room, which is inside the house, which is inside Dormont, inside Vulgard, inside this world, which is here! She points to the smallest circle on the keychain. It's reminding us that as much as we change, we're still a part of this world. We must all do our part to make it a wonderful place. The world isn't inside anything? No, silly! What would it be inside of? Exactly! <laughs> well, thank you for this little art lesson. Let's get going. I'm glad I went through that. Uh, the the conversation goes on. That's nice. Haven't seen this dialogue 12 hours in the game. That's what I'm here for, baby. Key in the keyhole. Key in the keyhole. Oh, wait. That's the room you died in because you didn't check for traps. There must be a switch or something somewhere that can stop the track from activating. Hey, it's glowing! That's cool and nifty. I feel last time, but you could feel something different in this room. This is a normal pillar, but... Carefully, you look at the pillar. Oh, stars. Hidden un unless you were looking at the right angle. You can see a switch hidden behind the rocks. Stupid, stupid, stupid. Oh, wait! It's different! I just remembered this room! It's... You press the switch. <laughs> Got him. Ah! Whoa! Okay, the rock fell. And not on your head. So you can change things. You can fix things. You can keep going. You're feeling a lot more confident about this killing a monarch business. You give a thumbs up. Trap taken care of. I, I suppose it is? That was scary! Oh, before you forget, you should ask. Any more death corridors, Mira? Death? Oh, because she didn't say death corridor. Death corridor? Um, no. That's the only one. I promise. That's how I had a trap which Sifrin just activated. I don't think there's any other ones in the house. Good to know. Let's get going then. Alright. Now the game begins. Okay. I will fight you. Alright, we have a schizer friend. Bad. All right, let's make up the time. Um, and then you can buff everybody, and then we're just gonna punch it really hard in the face. Okay. Hulk smash! And then you can finish the job for funsies. Rock three! You breathe in and out. Very interesting idea, but I don't want to say in case it's a spoiler for a thing you can actually do. We'll see broken pillar. So this should be the paper one, right? No, it's scissors again. Okay. Youch, that does a lot of damage. Um Um I'm just going to do the thing I did last time. The horrors are unending, but we stay silly. So true! You breathe in and out. 200 experience received. Wow, that was more experience for some reason. Cool. 
All right, what's this, a pillar? Broken pillar, so true, how about you? Another pillar, so cool. Let's go left first. Oh, this guy, this fucking dude. He's not gonna notice me. Oh shit, he notices me. Uh... I'm sure it's fine. <laughs> All right, rock time. Oh, that's bad. Um, uh, paper, paper, paper. Mirror ball is a paper attack. Man, giving away your turn does a lot. So does Elf. Just give away your turn. It's that easy. Okay, what do you want, man? All right, second for second. First, just don't kill. All right, kill it with paper, I guess. Zoing excuse ain't looking too good. It's okay. She'll be she'll be back. See, let's see. Her HP is at two. She's fine. Alright, let's see what we got in the pockets real quick. 30%, 40%. Why is this lower? Whatever. Crafts of water, uh restoring taste fruity. Coconut? Okay. Alright, cool. She's back to snuff. What's up here? Looking for an egg key. Yo, a sword. Oh, look! On the wall, there's a sword! A sword looks rapier-like. You want to take it, Mira? Hmm. Taking things don't belong to you is bad. But yes, I would like the sword. You got over that quickly. Needle sword! You found a weapon! Weapons arms can be equipped by doing that. Okay. Equimp. Shiny rapier? Uh, more like needle sword. Um, That's gonna... That just brings up defense a little bit. Oh, wait, and attack a little bit, I think. No, just defense. Interesting. Hey, you know what? I'm okay with her having some defense. What do we got here? Hmm, a big steel thing with a stone on it and an oven for weapons. Things have a name, but you can't remember what it is. Anvil? It's a forge, and that's an anvil, Siphon. And the stone is a sharpening stone. Oh, yeah! An anvil, sharpening stone, and forge. I'm glad you remembered. An anvil, sharpening stone, and forge. <gasps> Item. Some vials. Let's see. Crafted water. Give to Bonnie for safekeeping. Thank you, Bonnie. Rope spears. Why the need for an army and weapons in the first place? <laughs> they see stealing is good because it uh, cha changes who owns it. Yeah, that's right. Yeah, that's how change works. <laughs> Does the house often get attacked? Oh, not at all. Well, you know, except for right now. This is one of the many classes the house gives. It's very popular with young adults. In a few weeks, you can learn how to make your very own weapon. Not only in Dormont, but Joventon's house gives smithing classes too. Most people put their weapon on their wall to look cool. It does look cool. My sister took a class like this. She made a massive hammer and tried to hang it to the wall in her room. And? Hammer too heavy. Wall broke. We had to share my room for weeks. How awful. <laughs> She's got so much sass. I love it. Also, I'm going to do a quick, um, just repoosh, telling people that we're still alive and still having a great time, because this game's fucking awesome. Hope you guys are enjoying it, because I am. Alright, let's try not... We're going to win this, uh, time loop on the first try. Hello. Stop being scary. Okay. Your Honor, I wasn't expecting them to be spooky. Hello? Oh, you have two. Okay, so you have two. You're like a Pokemon. Okay, so... You probably want to go rock on this one. Because I don't think it resists its own type. So we're not going to want to go scissors here, because that's not going to help us at all. Um, sorry, I'm just pulling up a thing real quick. 
This music's very nice. Sorry, I'm getting my shit straightened out. You're on simply changing lengths of their lifespan. Exactly. Uh... Give it to you. You're cool. Wait a minute, there's two parts. There's two health bars. Ooh, that's good. Oh, that's wild stra- Ow! Um, RC Silent Burst on the paper, friend? Oh, it it's both of them. Okay, let's try that. Okay, now all you have left is rock, so paper. Hey, Odie, you looking kinda- Yeah, I agree. Odie is looking kinda- Wait, I didn't see the Hurt Odie sprite. Hurt Odie looking kind of bad, though, I guess. Okay, let me heal up, I guess. I'm sorry, I know everyone wants to see more uh, damaged Odie, but... I'm getting the feeling I might not win on this loop. You'll see it next battle. Well, I just healed, so probably not. Unless she gets hurt again. She probably will get it. It's not the first. It's not the last time I'm gonna be seeing this. I'm guessing. I don't want to deal with you right now. Goodbye. I don't want to deal with you either. I figure you know the change god. It's been destroyed. The cover is full of various board games. A craft game for kids. A fishing game. Checkers. Checkers. We should play team checkers again. Sif and I will kick your butts. Mm, I think I'll pass. Last time we played, Sif and cheated the whole time. And you didn't even notice. My obliviousness makes me a wonderful teammate. True. Is it cutlery? Yeah, dummy. Why do you have to ask? No, no, no. I'm asking Madame Odie. Is it cutlery you're studying? Cutleryology? First streamer to beat stars in time on the first loop. Yeah, probably that's what's gonna happen. This is it, right? Did I get it? Wrong again, mister. I swear, your guesses are getting more and more eccentric. Who makes their research all about cutlery of all things? Some people, I'm sure. Not me. Mm. Oh, well, I'll figure it out one day. Sure you will. You're also curious, but neither Isabeau or you managed to find out what she's studying yet. It's a barrel. It's full of water. It's a barrel. It's full of water. It's a bet. It's full of nothing. <gasps> a chair. What's this? Salty broths! Hello, hello, Stardust! You got to have some salty broths, didn't you? During one battle, will lower all of someone's craft cooldowns by six, so they're very useful. Use them wisely. Bye, Stardust. Have fun. Don't get crushed by rocks. Cracked water. Okay, got a book here? Some books. One of them has a very striking cover of a Mudu clay figurine with large sunken eyes and a screaming mouth. So true! Spooky. Okay, uh, nothing else to explore here. Who's on by? Oh. There's something over there. That looks promising. Oh yeah! Some weird water? I've heard about this from people in Dormont. They call those tears. If you touch one, you'll be frozen in time. That's what they told me. There are a few outside the village, too. Tears, huh? There might be a lot of those around the house. You know that dying of natural causes will bring you back, but what about being frozen in time? Is it different? Would it stop you from looping back? Touch it? This is a bad idea. <laughs> yeah, no, I'm not gonna... <sighs> I hate how much I want to do it for the bit. Nope. Not doing it. Not right now. After all, I have to win this one. That's scary. Just go ahead and move on. Okay, yeah, we get it. Let's stop looking at it. Can we go already? Ah! Oh. Did she just push... Did they just push me into it? Sif! Of course Bonnie fucking pushed me into it. Bonnie. See something appear before you. This is... Dormon? 
in the house. You can decide where to loop back. Oh shit, I can just go here. Okay, yeah, I'm gonna go here. Oh, you're back. For a second you were genuinely worried you weren't going to loop back and stay frozen in time forever. Being frozen in time felt like sleeping. So tears freeze you in time and being frozen in time makes you loop back. It's like a pretty painless way to loop back whenever you please. That is nice. I was wondering why they were powerful regular tonics. Okay, crafted water. That's a fun little... Very fun. Alright, I gotta get my funny thing. Bell pendant! Alright. It's time. You shake the pendant! Ding ding. As if summon the funny noises appreciation crew jump to your side. Ding ding. Ding ding! Ding ding. We got a chain. I gotta find the chain! Wait, the key's gone. Did I already count that? Whatever. Ding ding. Also, yeah, 427 portraits this game? That is awesome. Shit! <laughs> don't... Don't talk about it. Yeah, I know. I know. I know. I know. I know. I know. <sighs> Gotta get my thing. The loop was pretty rocky. Oh wait, shit, I need to come with puns for all of these. Um, okay, so for the last one, um, damn, that really tears me apart. And for that one, um, I don't know, man, I foregore. Okay, now I'm gonna do jokes for every time it actually happens from now. Well, that was closet useless. No, it had the bing, the ding ding. Now, let me just check something real quick, because I want to make certain. It said that it did, but yeah, we still have Needle Sword. Awesome. Alright, let's keep them. Wait, maybe if I save here, it'll... I don't know, man. Why not? Where's the save? We're on Act 2. Cool. Did Ryan get hit by the rock? I got hit by the rock. Yeah, yeah. Let's go, everyone. Okay, so I gotta go to the right. Yo, a bunch of little dudes? What? Did they just, like, give themselves a flipperoo? Okay, so we're gonna look for some AoE shit. So... Make up the time. Wait, now I make up the time. I'm gonna turn it up. I'm gonna hand it off to... Mirabelle. Mirabelle has an AoE. Damn, okay. Oh, God. They're all being mean to her! Kaboom! They're so mean to her. Alright, 510 experience. That's what I'm talking about. Alright, let's 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 heal you up a little bit, Mira. You've gone through the ringer on that one. I'm guessing this is like a The gate is locked. That's what I expect it would be locked. Where does it bring us? Farther into the house? Yes, this is the only way to the second floor. No wonder the king can make sure we never go in. 
I'm telling you, the king is scared of us. Maybe he is, but in the meantime, we should find a way to open this door. You'll get a bit closer. Do I need the five orbs of orb? Keyhole shaped like an egg broken in half. Wait, we saw an egg. Do I need half egg? Do I need to break a thing in half? <laughs> also, um, Velus, the auto mod caught the uh, message on that typo, but I don't think I'm gonna accept it just in case, but just know that you are okay. I think nothing wrong of you. All right, what we got? Did it face look like that? Did it face? Did its face look like that last time? Or am I just crazy? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I got you. Okay, we're gonna turn it up and give it over to uh, Isa. Hulk smash! And then uh, we're gonna attack. Just normal attack is fine. Drive me crazy. True. Okay. So here's where the tears are. <laughs> okay, you learned you're smart now. In other words, everyone confused looks at the tears and just keep walking. Okay. Alright, cool. He didn't notice me. Egg? Doesn't have a hole for a key. You look at it curiously. Easy to see as you look. Never seen a lock like this before? Special kind of Vogardian vul lock. Instead of a key, it needs specific words to open. Words. Oh, there are a couple houses like that. Yes, yeah, so you just need to say the words aloud. I think I call it a uh, an open phrase. An open phrase. Fascinating. So, what is the phrase? This lock. I do not know. Ah, so it's locked. Yes. Yahoo. What's this room though? I think maybe a storage room. I often saw Dormant store shopkeeper go there. He might know the open phrase for it. Okay, so get, talk to the shopkeeper. Got it. If we had remembered to ask. Oh. Well, too late now, right? I'm sure it's fine. Fine. What we got? Fuck! That was bad. Wait, can I heal, uh... Okay, I can't heal when they're knocked out. Awesome. Um, you know what? I have some water. Odie's not having a good time here. Odie's having the time of her life. I don't know what you mean. Smash! Bonnie missed! No, Bonnie, no! Oh, wait, I can, maybe I can give Bonnie that memory. That might help. Anyway, get rocked, idiot. Okay, let me... Hey, Bonnie. I'm gonna give you a cool new memory. I cannot give you a cool new memory. Wait, didn't I just get a memory, though? Why do we have two memories of tonics? I mean, okay. Sure. Uh, let's see what's over here. It's a pillar. Sure is, buddy. Uh, don't like you. I'm definitely not looking around me and admiring the view instead, so tell me if I'm... I'm about to run into something dangerous! Whoa, 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 whoa! You keep Isabu from running into life-ending tears. Huh? Huh? What? What? What is it? Is it the water? Should I not touch the weird floating water? The same weird water as before. Oh, wait, I've heard about those! The villagers in Doramon call them tears. And if you touch them, you get frozen in time. Oh, right, they haven't talked about it before. Wait, so I almost died? Maybe she paid. Excuse me. May you pay more attention, distracted one. I'm keeping my eyes open for all threats except the ones in front of me. We should be more careful. You wouldn't want to touch those. Also, also, I also hear that being frozen makes you go to sleep. It gives you a super good dream. Oh? 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 Oh. 
Did you hear this from people in Dormont too? Uh, um, um. A nice lady told me that when she heard my sister got frozen. Oh. 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 I know it's not true. I'm not stupid. Just it'd be nice if that was true. So. So you should touch the weird frozen water and be frozen. Let me know how it goes. Pass. Well, it might. We still might. You still go this way. So we should look around and find if there's a way to make those disappear. <laughs> I don't know why there's two of them. I think it's a bug. I think it's because we have so many memories. We remember so much. Our memory is so good. Siffrin time. Alright. Turn it up, Isabeau. You're so talented, Isabeau. Smash them. There we go. I finished the job. We're about to die. That's not great. How are we doing on items? Cool. Yeah, I don't think that we're supposed to be able to beat this. Oh, it heals everyone's. Okay, I wish I had known that earlier. Alright, well, Sifrin might die, but that's okay. It's all part of the plan. A lot of people called one, like, distract one. Oh, and you calling Lee, you late one. Guess she said... When you guess that she studied East Tactics. Yeah, there's also that's also the name of like some of the uh um like NPCs. A sadness? Oh, poor buddy lost its friend. Oh, this one feels weird. But when it falls, it may look different, but it's still a sadness like all the ones we've seen before. It still feels weird. I believe the preteen when it says when it comes to sadness is weirdness, madame. Let's get the weird sadness then. Oh, this thing's gonna kill us. Nostalgia? Okay, I'm gonna need to, uh... Odie? You're getting the turn so that you can, uh, take a look at what's going on with this bitch. What you got? This one... Is it just me or is there something weird about it? It's possible Odie has a different dialect because she comes from another country. Yeah, probably. That would, that would make sense, yeah. He's a little stronger than the sadnesses we've seen so far. It's not showing its hands! It's crabbing annoying! We could observe its attacks or look at it carefully when we hit it. Oh, that's the plan? We're just gonna, like, pray? Okay, let's start with... Paper. Wait, was it holding something when it attacked? Alright. Clear yourself up, Mira. I'm gonna go over this hyper combo, I think. Bonnie missed. Thank you, Bonnie. No shit, I'm, um... Alright, paper combo time. Fuck, you're also attack. Um... Fuck time! Um, come on! The thing they're going for is when you hit it, you can see if its hands are doing the paper thing. Oh, I see. I mean, the fact that it isn't, that it isn't resisted by this or anything means it's probably... Like, judging by the fact that this is neutral means it's probably, you know, not dead. Let me just see real quick. Yeah, okay, so its hands are paper. That's cute. Do you have it back yet? Nope. Okay.
Uh, he's, uh... Alright, let's hyper combo this bad boy, shall we? Alright, time for a hyper combo! God, that's so nice. Paper attack! Hey, first try! And we got a jackpot attack, too! We're so good at video games, you guys! I think I'm gonna win the game. The sadness left something behind when it dissolved. Starcrest! There's a teardrop in Gary Donnie. Put the Starcrest in your pocket. A uh, crest? Feels weird, too. Like the tears we just saw. Okay. Maybe it'll be useful later? Could use some tears blocking your way. A hole in the wall. The hole didn't really bring you anywhere. Lame! Um, whoa, memory of skirmish. What? Not gonna be done anytime soon. You used to know how many blank you have. What? How much cooldown you have? But I already know that, don't I? Hmm. Anyway. Where's the funny thing that I just picked up? Wait, where's the crest? What's that for, huh? Yeah, y'all are really good at this. <laughs> In your inventory? Maybe I should have checked. I'll check it after this. Knife to meet you. Good video game. Mirabelle, uh, Jolly Round Rondo. Hey! <laughs> Bless me. Alright, attack! Really good not spoiling when things are important fiction. Yeah. God bless you guys, I guess. Alright, let me check the inventory again, because I just was bad at looking at things, I think. Yeah, I don't see the star crest anywhere. Oh, fucking there it is, the star item. Both key item. Okay, there we go. I got it. First try. The tear floats gently. Okay, this might be stupid, but what if you use a star crest you just got on those tears and see if it does something? If tear drop engraved on a star crest after all, if it doesn't work, well, yeah, you look stupid, but you always loop back and not look stupid. All right, let's star crest. Yeah, baby, let's go. It worked. Bye, bye, tears. Whew. Okay. Easy game. You figured out the menus basically with the game. It's true. Ow! You hit your hip on the counter, made an embarrassing sound. Oh? Sifrin. Did you really hit. <gasps> oh no! Oh no! Did you really hit the counter and say nya? <laughs> oh no! You did. <laughs> no. <laughs> Catboy located deploying countermeasures. Okay, Nya. Madame! A flyer for the Dormant de Boot, whatever the fuck. Mignon Boulangerie. Bread 20% off every Saturday because we low fuse almost as we loaf our bread. Mm. Uh, bad. <laughs> hey, Sif. Look at Isabeau. Yeah. Considering how much bread we bought them for dinner yesterday. Oh, 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 wait, 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 wait. Wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. What's the... I'm trying to figure out what the punchline for this is going to be. Is it loaf? Let's go. <laughs> oh my god, wait. This is just how Penny and I talk to each other sometimes. <laughs> hey! Loving us is the yeast they could do! No. No! Not allowed! <laughs> yes, teamwork. Yay, teamwork. A 
kitchen closet. You open it. You found the egg key. Egg key! Now you know where the egg key's located. The keychain dangling from shaped like an egg. Does that mean something? That's an egg. An egg? Bonnie's making grabby hands. Oh no. The grabby hands. You give Bonnie the key. Ah, so the next key should be a broken egg, right? Are eggs important to change belief somehow? Yes! <laughs> it's what they called me before... <laughs> An intact egg and broken egg. We... We're the egg, getting out of the egg. Change also means destruction, blah, blah, blah. Well, um, yes, pretty much. Can't make pancakes without breaking a few eggs. It's omelets! It's omelets, Bon Bon. You're an omelet, za! A terrifying rebuttal from the preteen. And, and, for every change, something needs to break. Maybe changing yourself will hurt someone. Maybe changing means leaving a part of yourself behind. It's to remind us that before changing, we must stop and think about what will be irreparably destroyed. But destruction is just a part of change, and we must accept it. Yeah. It'd be awful to keep yourself becoming the person you feel comfortable with just because it would upset someone else. Huh. That's a harsher belief than I thought. Bonnie is still looking at the egg keychain. Chomp! Bonnie tried to take a bite of the keychain. Chomp chomp! It's caught out of stone, Boniface. Maybe the keychain had a secret, madame. Uh-huh. Stupid crabbing rock. Bonnie gives you back the key. It's sticky. Sticky keys! Nuts! Cookies! Cookie! Oh, they're frozen in time. Never mind then. Pot filled bubbling food, frozen in time. The steam is frozen in midair. So what's inside? Ah, uh, looks like they were cooking crab. What? <laughs> they hate crab! Crab! What, what what's what's happening? <laughs> Someone's cooking crab in a house of change of all places. Food tasted like crab, but literally. Why would someone do this? I, um. Odie looks at you with question marks in her eyes. But crab is so tasty. You shrug. I'm very confused. Is this a Vogardian thing? Please don't tell me you eat crabs and crab away. I don't think I can handle it. No, not really, but we don't have such an aversion to them. Hmm, okay. Wait, is it... Is it like... Is this like dolphins? Does everyone just have, like, something they fucking hate where they come from? Like, for Sif, it's croissants. And for... For Odie, it's dolphins. What about them? In Kabue, we don't like dolphins. Something about them being too smart. Are crabs smart? No! They're stupid! Don't even walk right! Salsa would like to know your fucking location. Crabs just look weird, I think. I've never actually thought about it. I thought it was like spiders! Every human thinks spiders look scary. Ha <laughs> ha! Zaz afraid of spiders! No, I'm a big strong man! So, crabs are weird and don't walk right? Okay. And they're. Inevitable! <laughs> Inevitable! So true! Crabs are so inevitable. Uh huh. I still don't understand anything. You also still don't understand anything. Vogard is weird. Fucking France, am I right, gamers? Oh, and. Oh, pepper juice and ginger juice and thyme juice. Anything else interesting? I think it was interesting. I can't even sit on the stool. It'd be rude to sit down. Oh, that's why. Okay. Pile plates. So tall! Why is it so tall? Oh, it's just how the house cook likes it. So as you say, we stack plates super high, the meals we put on it are sure to reach divine status. You go, ooh, along with Isabeau. <laughs> uh, why not, right? How was the food? That bad, huh? Room for improvement. <laughs> for our kind gentle Mirabelle to say this. Ha <laughs> ha! Food tastes like crab! They made crabs are inevitable as a religion. I love it. Yeah, it's because that's what it is. Mm 
Okay, so now I have egg key. Wait, wasn't there an egg key up here? Or... No, the egg key was like over here. Uh, no, thank you. I don't want to fight you right now. I love you, but I don't want to fight you right now. I'm sure I'll be, have plenty of chances to fight you, but... Oh, so clean with it. I was about to say I didn't even get noticed, but then I got noticed. Uh, fuck. Okay, that's fine. Oh, this guy again. Oh, that's bad. Um, okay. We're gonna give this turn to... Mira. Mira has a good AoE. Actually, Iza. I'm gonna get to Iza. Fuck it. Kabim! Youch. All right. Well, can we not do that this time? Um. Breathe in and out. Let's go. Bill Cypher's cousin in the house. So true. All right. We should have egg key for this. And there's another one. It's okay. A vine. Oh, you didn't even notice. Key time. Yes. Ah! You don't see me. Oh my god. I'm so. I'm smoothing with it. We're gonna beat the game on the first try. Huh. Nothing. Oh, over here. What do we got here? Some shit on the floor? Don't care. What's in here? Open the closet. It's filled with wax and candle making supplies. Smells nice. Nice. Some vials. Let's see. Got two sour tonics. A craftonomy book. Hey, that's a word. Ooh, is this a craftology book? It's craftonomy. But thank you. Uh, piercing craft, creative craft. What is a protecting craft chapter? It's a craft anime book, not craftology. This one's about the study of craft, not your fortune. Heh <laughs> Oh, I want to know my horoscope today. This place has been frozen for a few months now. I don't think it'll be up to date. <laughs> you really like that sort of stuff, don't you, Isabeau? Yes, I do! It's absolutely useless and has no basis in reality. But I like it when some letters tell me I'm going to have a good day. You're protected craft, aren't you, Isabeau? People who use it are patient. Loyal. Honest. I said it in the wrong order for funsies. And very gullible. That sure is me! Ha ha, you're very gullible! Bonnie, you're laughing, but aren't you also using protective craft? No! Yes, I do seem to remember this being the case, kiddo. No! It's not the same! I'm not gullible! <laughs> Bonnie, did you know that it says gullible on the ceiling? <laughs> you like being near them and not have to contribute to the conversation. Being silent around people you like is nice. Aw. Instructs on how to craft candles. Unlike normal candles, even ca crafted candles last longer. Can change smells as time goes by. That's cool. Tidy bed. Maybe bits of wax stuck to the covers. So it's a candle making station. I have no idea what this smells like. Apples and cinnamon. Pie smell? Pie smell. Pie smell. How you feeling about knowable items you might have missed? I don't know, man. I'm just vibing this run. Anything in here? A pair of glasses. Oh, that looks like it might be for... Unlike the case, the glasses are completely opaque. Glasses you can't even see out of. Absolutely useless. Are you going to take them? Hmm. Yes. I'll take them. <laughs> yeah, sounds about right. All right, let's equip these bad boys. What do the new glasses do? It makes you look super intimidating, but at what cost? All right, so we lose defense and we lose attack speed, but we get attack and crit chance, so why not? Now I have to, oh, I was really hoping that would change the character portrait too. It's a barrel, it says on the side, do not shake. Oh, I gotta shake this thing. Some books on the House of Change, and a book from the series of the Cursing Chateau Castle, Order 251! Oh, give me that! Okay, maybe later. Oh, he's famous for high defense. Yeah, they can get kicked by Garfield every day. Shiny. The dresser with the book, you open the drawer. Broken egg key. Now you know where the broken egg key is located. 
Sounds like keys will be in your future, huh? You should probably try to remember their location, just in case. Memory of keys. You will always remember this. When equipped, memory of keys will remember where keys are. When you lock door, you get a sense of where the key is. If you already found the key in a previous loop, you'll get directions as to where to go. Previous will forget if you're getting if you're getting type, huh? In someone's drawer? What a weird place for a key. Definitely not a very king-like place, huh? <laughs> Dude, they're really doing the fucking white. <laughs> it's pretty stupid of them. I'm not sure. Hiding keys in places like drawers isn't very king-like. Yeah, but things are harder to find since it's not a very expected place. But thankfully, we have our good friend Sif to help us find them. Thank you, Sifrin. Good job, Sifrin. Yay, good job. She claps sarcastically, which makes everyone join her enthusiastically. <laughs> you take a bow. Thanks, Odie. Closet of Hadley filled art notebooks. And, oh, there's a crumpled pile of hand-drawn -car cards. Pick one. Yes. Um, five of clubs. Card is a drawing of someone making plates. I don't think that's a five of clubs. It seems to have you working. The bottom says eight of pentacles. Oh, it's a tarot card set. You got the drawn card. Put the card in your pocket along with souvenirs. Look at the card. You wonder what kind of games you play with a card like this. You unroll one. It's a bunch of sketches of landscapes. Oh my. Paper tool sketches of naked people doing fun things. <gasps> Let's go! Porn percent! Wait, 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 wait. Bonnie, Bonnie, where are you? Bonnie, look the fuck away. You look at them curiously. Oh, do you now, Sif? Oh, oh my. Huh. Neat. <gasps> King shit! <laughs> huh, neat. That's how I react whenever I see porn in the wild. Show me! I can't see what it is! Oh, no, 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 no! Mirabelle Hurley covers Bonnie's eyes and makes him take two steps back. But I want to see! No, 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 it's not allowed. You're not allowed. Yeah, it's not for little ones, Boniface. Yep, can't let you do that, Bon Bon. Wah. Bonnie's looking straight at you. Friend, can I look? Don't put this on me! Well... <laughs> okay, cool. No, definitely not. Oh. Oh! So it's really not allowed. Why did it take Sifrin saying it for you to realize? Friends actually do things and you guys say no sometimes. But even Friend says it's not allowed, then it must be something really not allowed. So I won't look. Well, good. Sifrin! What the crap did you let Bonnie do when we said no? Whoa. He let me drink some vodka? What? No! Sif! What are you doing? Huh? What? Sifrin! Whoa! I don't really get why Odie likes it, though. It tastes just like boring water. <laughs> oh! I didn't really give them... I didn't, I didn't really give them vodka. I just gave them water. <laughs> nice. <laughs> Sorry. It sounds like an amazing practical joke to play on a kid, actually. It was! <laughs> so here's the thing. I want to come back here next loop, because I noticed that it was, like, you know, offering a choice, and I was going to see if it gives me another choice later. <laughs> I just it was. Some tiny paintings. They must have been crafted to move, but they're frozen in time. That's cute. You gave them vinegar. <laughs> it's vinegar, pussy. <laughs> what does this say? Some papers. They seem to be various newspaper articles about the king. The king? Alright. Um, we've already been over here. Yeah, we have. Nope. Nope. Oh, and he cleans it. They don't even notice him, chat. Fuck! They notice him, chat. And she is dead. Which is not helpful because... Okay. Here's some crafted water. Okay. Your turn. Yeah, Mira, you were down for the count. You can get another shot. Ouchie. 
Don't attack. Oh, thanks for the encouragement. Man, I love Bonnie. <laughs> I mean, I love everybody in this game, but, you know. Also, is it bad? I don't know why, but for some reason, Odie's like... Hold on a second. I'm going to make... I need to make a meme real quick. Uh, can someone do me a favor? And, um... Because I don't know if, like, searching for names is going to spoil anything. But, uh, can someone send me a picture of, like, Odie's, like, sprite? Like, talk sprite. Like, so I'm gonna link it real quick. Just cause... Cause there's, some, there's a vibe that Odie's giving me that I need to make. Why are you calling her Odie? Like a dog, she'll explode you for this one? It's fun, because it's a funny joke. Thank you, Boomer K Bomb Fifty Seven. You're so cool. What do you mean clipboard didn't contain an image? I put an image there. Okay, I just need to finish this up. Sorry, I know that we're like off kilter real quick, but let me just. It's gonna be worth it. Trust me, I'm a doctor. Okay, let me just resize this. It's a little bit big here. Okay, let me just see. Almost done. Almost there. One more thing I need to do, and then I'll show it to you. I know this has just been me fucking around, but trust me, it's gonna be worth it. Okay, just need to hit this button. Sorry, again, I know it's taking a while, but it'll be worth it. Okay, it's done. <laughs> Chad, are you ready for this? <laughs> Let me uh, get the display cap back up. Okay, well, that's kind of giving it away, but... Fucking... Hold on. <laughs> Listen! <laughs> Am I wrong? <laughs> Fucking. I'm just going to post that in no context. And stars and whatever. All right, cool. Now that I've made the meme, we can get back to the game, I guess. I want to look better with a hurt sprite. I haven't seen a hurt sprite. I, I was about to say, someone did send me a link to, like, the fucking, um... Gallery. So let's see what that hurt sprite looks like real quick. Huh. It doesn't show it on the wiki for some reason. Interesting. Anyway. Back to video game. Wasn't in the gallery. Yeah. This sounds like something Sif would make in the current day. Yeah, Sif would absolutely make that. <laughs> she really said, You should kill yourself now. To the game files, yeah? Yeah, probably. I'll find it one day, but for now, we just gotta fight this MF. Now, see, I don't like that, so.
Um, turn it up. Right, kaboom. That is not as much as last time. Okay, we're gonna go paper on this one. Heal? Okay, that, or you can miss, that's fine too. I'm not picky. Um. Yeah, everyone get faster. I dare you. Alright, use the bow, smash him. Nice! She with the time jail, her bones break and heal every step she takes. True. Scared by postling to her Dodie image? Sure. Yeah, go for it, champ. Okay, we're gonna go up here now that we can break it. Oh, wait, we can heal up here, right, I think. Stardust, listen, listen. I forgot to explain something. As you know, you can save your progress here. There's two things you might not know about recording your progress. Number one, those stars are all linked to a spot so you can loop back to. So right now you can loop back to Dormont and the first floor of the house. Number two, remember how you'll keep your experience and craft skills no matter what. But your party's progress is reset every time you loop. Also, let me pull up this uh, picture. Oh, shit. It was from the official Twitter. That's cool. It's for I insert disc five Twitter. Now I have to see it if it's posted by the one and only insert disc five. Oh, okay. Yeah, no, you guys. Hold on a minute. Let me just. Yeah, yeah, you guys are so right. You guys are so right. Anyway. I'm just going to be normal about that. Anyway, so to make it easier for you, every time you save your progress, your party's craft skills and experience will be saved for this specific spot as well. So your is level 45 now. And when you'll record your progress in a second, he'll be level 45 again if you loop back here. And don't worry if, for example, you had him recorded level 52 before, but he only gets level 46 next time you save your progress here, his level will still be recorded as 52. No going back, he'll stay strong. Same for the number of tonics and the other battle items you're holding. Oh. The number of items saved too. So if you save your progress here, your friend's experience and skills will be recorded here as well. So if you loop back here, you won't have to keep fighting so they can be stronger. Okay. Toward the light, everyone was healed. Cool and nifty. All right, I could grind a bit, or I could party. Yeah, everyone's at full health, and Bonnie. Full disclosure: I didn't mean to make Odie so hot, but apparently she is. I'm sorry for any emotional damage I might have caused. Oh yeah, it's fair. Key time. Pizza time. I mean, I love men. I still look at her. I think, oh, how did women please speak to me? See, that's the beauty of being bi. Is I love men and I love women. Is there a boulder here? A sadness! Seems to be guarding the rest of the house from us. It feels strong. Stronger than those we've seen so far. Get ready, everyone. Ooh, time for a boss battle. Big ball head. Big ball head! Wait, something's happening. Something appeared for a second in the big ball head! That was a rock sign? Does that mean something? You can probably assume it's the current craft type. If you need help, Sifrin, let me know and I'll analyze the enemy. Thank you. Okay. So how long could he like legit? How could he? How long could he feasibly be rock type, right? Because I'm hoping to get a jackpot here, and I kind of want to start it early. But this would be resistant. You know what? I feel like it won't stay that way forever. So let's let's lower your defense. Oh, you're just immune. Well, that's problematic. Whoa.
Well, that didn't do a lot at all. All right, Odie, you're going to be our best friend today. Okay, now I gotta switch over to paper. Bonnie, come on. Okay. Yeah, heal up real quick, buddy. Oh, I can't do your turn again. Okay, everyone get good defense. Oh, oh yeah, there it is. Mm hmm. Hi, hi, Odie. Knife to meet you. You say cool one liner. I love one liners. They're so cool. And one liners. Um, I think I have curse. True. Uh, do you want to answer this or are you just using out loud? I'm just using out loud. You know what? Yeah, let's take a look. It showed a paper symbol! So it's a paper tag now! I'm not sure paper and rock attacks will work at all. Since it's attacks, it is! This might be a good opportunity to build jack jackpot points, everyone. Let's do the same craft type five times in a row! Yeah, I kind of fucked that up, but you know what? That's fine. Reset me, please. Oh! So, it does, so long as, like, it's used in some extent. Okay, nice. Don't change, don't change, don't change, don't change. Oh shit! Bonnie with the hit! Let's go! Alright, bring it on, my good bitch. Alright, let's get this jackpot! Are you still fucking paper type? You know what? Fuck you. Get slowed, idiot. Okay, knife to meet you. This guy has a lot of HP. Alright. Let's buff up. I guess you just got a guard. Okay, back to rock. And only like two people know what fucking how to do rock. Good job missing, Bonnie. I love you. Okay, Odie, commit arson. Papa! Okay, everyone's still good on health, so I can use this. They're trying their best. Yeah, Bonnie is credit to team. Yeah, Bonnie's good. I love Bonnie. Youch, nice try, idiot. Okay. Let's uh, get everyone nice and fast. Uh, can you use it yet? You cannot. Uh, you know what? I'm sick of waiting. Where is the shit that gets your thing back? I didn't get it this run! I don't think. Okay, I guess Super Sparkle Heal on myself. You can see the active time bar for the boss. Yeah, it helps. Turn it up! Here you go. How are you doing on- okay, got one left? Cool. Bunny! Nice whack! Wow, you have a lot of time left. Yeah, you just guard, okay? Ouchie. Okay. Guess I gotta guard too. Alright, let's get another uh, jackpot attack.
Let's finish the job. This has got to finish him off. Actually, wait, no, I forgot he has a shit ton of HP. Paper time! Almost there. Alright, turn it up. Okay, you just keep guarding. Sadness changed its craft type. You can't see anything! Oh, fuck right off. Ah! We almost got it! It's very weak. A slightly stronger blow would have done it. Well, if it's weak... Want to file a blow, Bonnie? Can I? It is pretty weak, so sure. Knock yourself out. Uh, okay! Here I go! Is Bonnie gonna die? Holy shit! Wait, what was that? <laughs> yeah! That was 2,000! That was really funny. I was like, uh-oh, it's a mystery. You don't know what uh you know what type it is. Bonnie just comes in fucking kills. It doesn't matter what type it is. Bonnie will destroy. Bonnie really said, ha! Looks like I turned that frying pan into a dying pan! Yeah! This is what's going on in Bonnie's head right now. <laughs> okay. Alright. Bonnie Swat has confirmed me, Brock. You clap. Great job, Bonbon. Bon. You did good. What we would have done without you. <laughs> I fucking love Bonnie. When he's close to death, your little kiddo might deal the final blow. Look at him, so proud, like a little bird who just flew for the first time. That's awesome! <laughs> hey, level up. Hey, level up. Craft skill so weak? Okay, we have a new thing. Victory! Right, let's keep moving. Isabel just learned a new skill. <laughs> I've gotten stronger. You got the memory of so weak, you'll always remember this. When equipped, your fighter will always be able to use so weak as a skill. Even if he isn't level 45? 6. Go weak is a skill that lowers an enemy attack. Okay, can I go back? I cannot. Awesome. Yeah, I'm gonna start to really regret not having um, leveled up people. But that's okay. So he needs to draw Bonnie hanging out with Junie. True! This one feels a little different than the others, doesn't it? It's missing the threatening pressure of the rest of that house has. Shall I take a little break then? No, we should keep going and... Uh-oh, somebody's hungry! What was that? I think I'm hungry. EXCLAMATION POINTS! <laughs> MY TIME! MY TIME! MY TIME TO BE THE LEADER! Why? BECAUSE IT'S NEXT TIME, BABY! <gasps> oh, I love them! Junie, Bonnie, near sleep over? True. Snacks are important to keep hunger away and keep morale up. I learned that because I'm a growing kid. Sure is true. But do we have time to... Mira. <laughs> he, he giving him that look. He giving her that look. He's like... Let's take a break, all right? Even people bust by the chains, guy like you need a break sometime. All right. You guys stay there. I'll get some snacks ready. Okay, snack leader. Oh, I remembered something. Here's a bow. Heads or tails? Huh? Um, tails. Takes coin and rocket flips in the air. Flip a flip. Fell on tails. Huh. I lost. Yay! What do I win? The sweet taste of victory and nothing else. 
don't even get congrats. Wow, madame. I thought we were friends. We're not friends. We're associates. Not companions. Colleagues. Allies at best. Not even soulmates. <laughs> Wrong direction. Can't believe you've gone down. Can't believe you've gone down to being an acquaintance now. No! <laughs> What's a coin flip about, madame? Ah, well, I have a favorite tree to make me win my next coin flip. Huh? Such a silly favor. Really for scientific reasons. I was wondering whether this favorite tree business has anything to do with it. As we can see, it doesn't. Oh. Hmm. Well. Madame uh, Odie didn't put any thought or hope into her favor, so why would it come true, right? If you want something to come true, it definitely will. You think so? Absolutely. That's right. Bonnie probably wished for their sister to be okay, didn't they? Okay, who wants snacks? I have snacks! Today, I have many snacks at your disposal. I have... Some plantain chips! Ooh, geez, last of those not bananas to make them. <laughs> you know what? Respect. That is what they are. Okay, come on, come on. Yes! Yes, I did! Crunchy, delicious, and full of potassium! That's plantain chips! You all clap. Second snack is... Come on, come on, come on. Some boring but delicious cookies! Cookies! Great sales pitch, Bon Bon. Boring. But delicious. Cookies, the taste of home. What kind of home is boring but delicious? Sa, so, you're weird. And for our third and final snack, we're proud to send. Please, 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 please. Uh, some, uh, okay. Okidniri. Dude, just call them, just call them sandwiches. Onigiri. Orinigi. Onigiri. Onion giri. <laughs> Majapahit. Mapahajit. Majapahit. <laughs> you messed up that one on purpose. Yes! I also onigiri for everyone. One of those Kabuan rice balls, right? Yeah, rice. I love rice. Just eat your burgers, Apollo. <laughs> you and every other kid on this planet, Boniface. <laughs> now, choose! Choose which one you want. Don't worry, I have enough for everyone. I guess there's no reason for there to be pineapple in the onigiri. See, I'm I'm just max dumbass, because literally all I'm trying to do is I'm thinking like, okay, which one has pineapple? Which one has pineapple? I want to die by pineapple. If I don't... If I can't die by pineapple by the end of this game, I'm fucking getting a refund. I'll take, a, I'll take the plantain chips. Gotta get that potassium. There! You! Go! Buy a few handfuls of plantain chips. Crunch, crunch. They're not bananas, but they're just as good. So? Do y'all like it? That you do a good job as a snack leader? You absently nod. Yeah, this is good. Mm-hmm. Hmm. Um, Uh-oh. You say very loudly. Thank you, snack leader, for this delicious meal! Ooh, this is so good! Thank you, Bonnie! Hmm, so good, Bonbon! I feel refreshed, invigorated, alive! Hmm! <laughs> I, I get it. Yeah, it's like that. Hmm, good food, yummy, yum, yum. Yes! <laughs> Best game ever. I hope I didn't clip Mike. You got memory of snacks, you always remember this. When I quit memory snacks makes the kid more likely to heal during battle. That's good! The a I still can't get over the and Bonnie, that's so good. All right, I like that. 
Um, don't we also have um, another memory for, I think, Isa? Oh, yeah, so weak! I mean, functionally, it's the same. Oh, wait, no, that turns down defense. <gasps> wait! I just realized Isa has earrings that make you go ding ding. Wait a minute, I just realized. Okay. I was about to say, if I didn't save the bell pendant, I, I would shit and fart. This is all stupid. We can't be friends. That'd be like being friends with your mom or your sister. So then... Which one am I? You're... I don't know. Is that how that works? Odie. Actually, Dee is more like a grandma, isn't she? And you definitely can't be friends with your grandma. Okay, well, which one's Mira? Belle's like a cool sister! The one who give me sweets when I ask. Unlike my actual older sister, who sucks! Even though she is frozen in time. <laughs> my fucking awful sister who got... I'm glad she got frozen in time. No. It sounds like a little brother. Okay. Hey, Mira. I hope everyone's alright. People in the house? Yeah, well, they're most likely all frozen in time, aren't they? You haven't seen anyone yet, but maybe, maybe someone survived. Maybe the head housemaid managed to... T tell me a joke, Sifrin, please. To get my mind off things. Oh, um, I had a meeting with a plum today. A, a plum? Like the fruit? Yes, that meeting was... Oh, let me guess. Was it a very fruitful meeting? <laughs> oh, no, was that it? Sorry for stealing your joke. This is the worst thing that could ever happen to you. Who are you? If you are not the funny jokes pun person. <laughs> Fuck, I can't believe that I've been personally targeted. Shows Mirabelle Feshpins 3. <laughs> Just like, would you tell me a joke? I was going to, but then you stole all my breath mints. Hey, Sif. Let me guess, you're still hungry? I can see in your face! Wanna have this cookie? Isabel waves his last cookie at you. Yes. Nah, it's fine. Okay, let's try that again. And this time you say, yes please, Mr. Amazing, Wonderful, Funny Buff Isabel. I ask again, would you like half of this cookie? Yes please, Mr. Amazing, Wonderful, Funny Buff Isabel. Of course! Here you go. Yes, chomp. Thank you? <laughs> no problem. Hi, Odie. I hope I didn't make Bonnie upset earlier. Bonnie stuffing your cheeks happily. Never mind. Now let's get the hell out of here. Are you ready? Ready! Alright, let's go! Can I get rid of this with the... No, living time. Let's see what we got over here. Uh-oh. It's okay, you don't see me. You see me. Did you save first? Nah, don't worry about it, it's fine. What's the worst that could happen? What? Protecting it with his body? Oh, I think I have to take care of this bitch first. Okay, um... All right, what's your what's your take on the situation? I don't like this. Yeah. Defeating someone who's only trying to protect someone else doesn't feel very They're still attacking us, you know. It makes you feel better. Even if we break the remnants apart, they'll come back together eventually. Napoli kill us with no remorse. Let's focus on the one we can attack right now. Good call. Popper. Oh, hmm, that's not great. Um, um, yeah, can we get some water? Can I get a water? Can I please get a water? 
Oh, you look paralyzed. Did you get fucking... Oh, you got frozen. Okay. That's unfortunate, I guess. Anyway, let's all go faster. Um, yeah, you heal up, uh, Sif real quick. Chat, make sure you're staying hydrated. True! That just leaves this guy. Try to even get a good jackpot here. Uh, hey, mate, are you still frozen? Mate's still frozen. Nice job, Bonnie. Way to go, Bonnie. Come on, let me just... Let me do the funny thing. Yay! Bring everyone back. Get the heals, baby. Yay! We healed up! Uh, we healed We healed him! We did it! First try! Well, that was easy. Not difficult at all. Ooh, we have some flyers up here. School! Mathematics, geography, crafting, art, sewing, cooking. Archery, hiking... <laughs> I'm trying to remember the fucking... Archery, hiking... I forgot the fuck. I was trying to remember the camp camp thing. Yeah. A desk. I don't have an open issue of the Cursing Chateau Castle, issue 32. Very lovely handwriting. Oh, I recognize this handwriting. This is the seat of a very stylish, scary lady with an amazing fashion sense. She often wore this very cool dress, and she always had her hair in a bun. We often had the same glasses, but she probably doesn't know I exist. Oh, wait! Her! I'm a little sad, though. I always wanted to ask her for fashion tips. That's cute. Mark, super awesome, great, amazing, super dual, no, do not touch. I'm touching it. I respect you. No! Touch it! Fine. What do you have to say for yourself? Some doodles in the corner. It's a nice classroom, isn't it? I wonder what classes were taught here. Mm, I have bad memories of this classroom. Why? Do you have a bad class in this room, Belle? Uh, no, not... Um, it's... I gave a class here. Not too long before the king attacked. You're a teacher?! <gasps> Gasp, you never said. N no! It's, it was just one lecture. I, um, had housemaiden. She said it would be good for me to give a lecture. A lecture on... I'm... I'm well known in Dormont's house for being the houseman who's taken... The most classes? Taken the most classes? Like, as a student? How many is that? Ha <laughs> ha! Uh, since I came to live here, I think I registered for... A hundred? A little more than 150 classes. Huh? Mirabelle? You went to school that long?! So she wanted me to do a lecture! On what was taking all those classes taught me. And? And? Should we drop it? Yes, please. Okay, we're dropping it. A note stuck to the wall. It says, No snack eating in this room. Out of the corner of your eye, you see Bonnie chomp on an apple. That's right! Fight the power! Many, many random things. There's a book about something called Bonding Earrings. I wonder what that's all about, but not enough to pick up a book. Statue of the Change God. It's been destroyed. They don't really like their Change God, do they? Some frozen flowers. They smell like flowers. Various school supplies. List of students' names for a month-long class. Some students have their name for more than their first and last name listed. Huh. This student has one, two, five names. This is a Vogardian practice, as I recall. Have more than one name? Yeah. A lot of Vogardians have more than one name. Usually it's one masculine name, one feminine name, and a free one for good measure. Yo, based! Some parents go wild and give more than that. I had a coworker with ten names. Many names represent our capacity for change, our power to evolve, to become someone new at a moment's notice. Oh yeah, that's... This is the most trans game. <laughs> If you decide to change genders to become someone different than who you are, you already have a name ready to pick out. This is lovely, actually. 
How Vogard's goal of change goes even as deep as the names. I have the name too, so I feel a little closer to Vogard this moment. You do? I want to know, I want to know. I'm curious as well, if that's okay. <laughs> if you tell me yours, I might. Unless that's frowned upon. Not really frowned upon, but some people might keep it secret for personal reasons. That's why not everyone on the student list wrote their, down every name, see? I wouldn't mind telling you though, Madame Odie. I tell you, but I forgot mine. My sister's the one who remembers. Hmm. I'm gonna pass. I wanna keep him secret. Because if I do change again, I don't want you to already know how to call me. I want it to be a surprise. Oh, of course. Let us keep our names a secret a little while longer. Fogart's so weird. Damn, don't be transphobic, Sefen. Se Sefner. Also, yeah, change again. Yeah, again, the most T-boy swag. Uh, no, thank you. Haha, -ha, can't can't fight me. Uh. A sadness. Another weird one. Like the one that gave us the crest. Wait, Boniface? What do you mean by we? No time, madame. Let's get ready. Yeah, wait, how come she was asking about that? Oh, it's nostalgia again, so that means... We found out it was raw paper, I think, right? I'll just give it a shot. Nice to meet you. Oh, I didn't see its hands. Whatever, I'm going for I'm going for the thing anyway. Oh, it's scissors! So weak, so weak, so weak! Isbo looks so cute and fragile. Um get, let's get skizzy with it. And then after we get our uh, uh jackpot we can switch out. Yeah, snacks! Alright, we'll do our jolly round rondo. Scissors attack! Alright, now to hit with rocks. Time to attack you with rocks. There we go, GG. You breathe in and out. Got a lot of experience from that. Star crest! You put the star crest in your pocket. Yeah, another crest! You should be careful about whoever use this one. Oh, once you use it, it's gone forever. It says, stop eating nuts directly from the barrels. You can't tell me what to fucking do. Nuts. Yes. Water. Dave, can't even shake it. <laughs> dodging, dodging, dodging. Dodging. Ah! I look away for one second and I get attacked by whatever the fuck this thing is. Youch. Wait. So the devil inside it is... Paper? Okay, let's just turn it up and get some paper attacks on this dude. Okay. Oh, wow, that paper did a lot. Okay. Uh, okay, let's... Okay, now we're gonna get our pockets. We're gonna open up with some supersonic sour tonic. So sour. Again? Why is it always you? Good job, Bonnie. Alright, let's do some silly um, paper time. Oh, shit! Um... That's not very reassuring. Um, that did just kill him in one hit, huh? Okay, wait, I got this. We're gonna...
We're just gonna guard for a sec. All right, attack, let's get this. Heal everyone up. Yeah, that's what I'm talking about. All according to Kikaku. Turns out rock does be paper. Well, to be fair, she's scissors, so. Well, she's scissors and paper. Such a neat perk in this game. Yeah, it's really good. That it, It's really a big one. All right. Um, yeah, you feel someone in the distance. Someone? Please, let's go. Hi. Ah! Is that someone from the house? They've been frozen by the King Curse. That's, that's their house maiden. She, she often helped me with the chores. I can't believe she's... What was she like? Tell us a bit about her. Oh, she started working at the house before me, so she often had to teach me how to do basic things. <laughs> like what? Like how to cut veggies without cutting my fingers, too. Bell! I know how to do it now! You go meow meow, cat's paw, can't cut my fingies, nya. Cute. What? Cute? It's cute, right? That's how I remember. She taught me how to do it. She always helped bandage my hands after I hurt myself. Shaking her head, tell me to be more careful next time. She was such a nice person. She never hurt anyone. But the king... Why would the king do this? And I can't even do anything to save her. She's been under the curse too long. I, I can't reverse it. I... I'm so... Mirabelle. The king is powering the curse, so if we manage to beat him, everyone should go back to normal. But every new floor, the sadnesses are getting stronger. At some point, we might end up being frozen in time ourselves. If it happens. I... I don't have the power to save anyone from being frozen yet. But... But I'm close! I'm close to getting it! I... I swear! Sounds like you should fight some sadnesses and get some experience to make sure Mirabelle can protect you during battle. Hey, Stardust! Just like your researcher said, statuses are getting stronger. Some of them have the same power as the king, the power to freeze you in time. Chaos Maiden's immune to such attacks, but if you're frozen in time, you won't be able to act. If everyone's frozen in time and your housemate's out cold, you lose. If someone's frozen, make sure to use her lovely moving cure skill. Okay, okay. Bye. Well, when she learns the skill, of course. Make sure to level up a bit, huh? Yes, man, frozen in time. She looks scared. That's sad. So sad. Hello? Someone frozen in time. Oh, that's a person! Oh, that's, that's where the house is cooks! She was in the gardening class with me. She was taking the class to learn how to grow tasty vegetables. She often made soup with veggies she made. <laughs> Once she said she needed help breaking apart a turnip she grew to make into soup, so we all told her to bring it to class and we'd all help her. The next class, she brought the biggest turnip I'd ever seen. She had trouble even fitting it through the door. She spent the entire class trying to cut it. It was that big! <laughs> how was the turnip? Oh, it tasted awful. But since she's a cook and I had really particular about taste, we had to act like it was delicious. Thank change I was taking an acting class, too. Some frozen flowers. They smell like flowers. What we got in here? And garden scissors! Oh, scissors. Wait. Not easy to wield, but boosts every... But, but cuts everything. Okay, so stronger, but not as fast. I like this feed. Sorry. They smell like flowers. Nope. I'd rather die than fight you. So I will. <laughs> I think I am going to call it for the night because I am tired. But I definitely want to continue this. This is a great game. And I want to play it more, but I kind of want to start from the beginning. Let's loop. Hey guys, check this out. Ugh!
Hey, Stardust, welcome back. Here's something I forgot to mention before. It'll save you time, so it's important, so listen up. You see the house now? Do you see how it can loop back specific moments, specific places? Looping backwards in time is a piece of cake for you. Looping forwards in time is going to be a little harder. You're going against the loop's will, after all. So maybe loop forward after you die, you need to use up some of your memories. You see that little star symbol at the bottom of your screen? It shows you how many memories you have at your disposal. Trying to get farther where you just than where you just died will cost some memories, so make sure you have enough memories to spend. Oh, I can sense you're panicking. Don't worry, this won't use up the good fun memories you have of the party. Just the boring useless memories you have of your battles. Have you not have you noticed for each battle you fought you've gained one memory of skirmish? And those are the memories you can use to loop forward. Over time you'll fight some battles that'll earn you even more memories. Isn't that neat? Ah, oh, look at me yapping and yapping. I'll condense all that information in one sentence. Flip forwards in time, you'll need memories, which you gain every time you win a battle. And, by the way, you opened a floor's gate. Good work, good work. You managed to open a floor's gate in the future. When you loop back, you'll be able to get to that floor with most doors open by using memories. Pretty useful if you're too lazy to find all those keys again. To unlock all those doors, press shift on the map screen. Do it! Do it! Well, not now. I'm talking. Okay, now! Oh, that's cute. You wake up. You yawn. Who knew being frozen in time just felt like a nice nap? And with that, we're going to call it here. Let me just save here. All right. And that'll do it! <sighs> Good stream. Let's see if there are any notifications for me. Anything on Tumblr? Got a few inboxes. Let me just see if there's any, uh, any mentions. No mentions. All right, in that case, we can raid somebody. Who are we going to raid? Didn't seem much to be excited for next time. Yeah. Okay. Let's see. Who, who are we raiding? Oh, Mars doing Danganronpa. Wait. Okay, wait. Oh, he's on Chapter 2 right now. Hmm. So, I'm trying to think. Should I do Ding Ding or should I do a funny Danganronpa joke? I mean, he's in Dagger Rumpel once. There aren't really any, like, good jokes to really drop right now. Not that I know of, at least. We can just do Ding Ding. My brave phrase is gonna be a Ding Ding. I put it in chat for your convenience. Alright, let's raid this son of a gun. Ding Ding Sweep. All right, let me pull it up so I can watch the raid go down. And I will see you guys on the next stream. I'll try to stream again in the near but future. Not. Shut up. Um not I'm I, not really Mar, but anyway, we're going to try to we're going to try to uh, do it again in the near future. Keep your eye on my socials, I guess. I was about to say maybe tomorrow, but I know that I have a big interview on Tuesday which I'm going to be prepping for a lot. Maybe Tuesday. Who knows? We'll see. Anyway, away we go. Catch you all next time.